Hello everyone, and welcome to another Cult Theatre stream. Uh, I'm Freddy, and today we'll be doing some chill art. Uh, introducing themselves now. Hi. Rena, when That's my right introduction, that's all you need. <laughs> I'm not I have to for myself. I'm Lainey. Thanks for joining I'm us. I'm great. I'm, I'm Joe. And only Joe. Judith, <laughs> Judith, introduce you. I did. Judith, it's one of the It was Judith, <laughs> then you, then Joe, and I was interrupting the entire time. That was the thing. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't interrupt Freddy because I didn't get a chance. <laughs> well, I'll try harder next time. Mm. I will. I will. I'll try to be more disruptive next time. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so today we're just going to be uh, chilling. We're going to be uh, doing some art of our new uh, Star Wars characters for the, the new Star Wars campaign. Uh, we're also it's going to be... Business. Yeah, we, we indeed. We'll get you one day, Lainey. Uh, <laughs> ominous. Uh, we'll also be finishing up That's any so character fair. creation. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, so, uh, one of the characters we have a lot of art for already is Joe's droid, RU12, which is already a favourite of mine. Uh, I'll see if I can get some on the stream, but uh, other than that, uh, people, please, start uh, uh, describing your characters at Laney, potentially all at once. I feel you horrible. I'm eating lunch. <laughs> I think Judith should go first, because she actually has a, full, a, a character with like all hmm. the numbers. And they're all correct, I believe. So mm -hmm. I think what I think is Freddie should explain about the I don't know what's happening, what I'm drawing, and why I'm drawing it. Oh, again? About the campaign, I guess. Oh yeah, okay, fair. All right. So I can eat my lunch in peace. <laughs> that's it. All right, yeah, I, I got this. So, uh, with the campaign, uh, with the campaign that's coming on, we'll be setting it in the Old Republic. That's roughly four thousand years before the events of the fourth movie. Uh, in, in this world, uh, uh, Jedi are in, in this version of Star Wars. Jedi and Force users are everywhere. The Republic has never been stronger. It's the height of everything. Every single possible thing you want your character to be able to do, it's there. It's it's work. It's uh it's working. Uh, we're, the setting that will be actually uh, the the planet we'll be starting on is Nashadar, a moon off the Hundahut homeworld, and it is a place of deep uh, dark side energy. The party, for different reasons, have all been uh, the party for different reasons have all been brought together uh, to hunt down uh, the notorious uh, bounty hunter turned diplomat Pablo Star. This might be the first time any of you have heard that particular name. Uh, Joe, uh, being a, uh, a assassin robot, I believe. Is that right? Yep. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Judith will be taking the role of a Jedi Sentinel, kind of like the, uh, the sheriffs of the, uh, Old Republic, where normal Jedi are big peacekeepers or mighty warriors, uh, Sentinels tend to slow down, go into a place solo and investigate. Uh, they don't need the backup of the Republic. And we also have Judith, who I believe you're playing a Fringer? No, sorry, not Judith, oh. sorry. Laura. <laughs> Laura, sorry. Laura, are you playing a Fringer? I am. I, you promised me that I could um, make science things. As long as I blathered science at you, I could make things happen in a MacGyver-style way. Exactly. And holding... Yes. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And please do hold me to it. I uh, will be, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I can uh, have a look through uh, your character stuff. So yeah, it was a Fringer, right? Not a tech specialist? Yes. Yes, perfect. Yes. Uh, fringers have this wonderful story mechanic where they can make any sort of tech work as long as they can just sort of describe how it works and they they roll. But they get a massive uh, d bonus dice roll. Uh, but the problem is that anything that they create in this method only lasts till the end of the scene. Only until the, the the dramatic corridor scene where we're shooting, uh, we're getting shot at, and we're backing away because no matter how many stormtroopers we seem to kill, there always seems to be more. Or until the end of the uh, the the scene where uh, uh, the, the the ship is trying to get into hyperspace and we're running away from a seemingly infinite amount of enemies, and I'm now just realizing how much of Star Wars is running away from a seemingly infinite amount of enemies. 
Jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah. You so at least have drama. Exactly. Uh, it's not about winning every fight. It's just about getting through to the next one. Yeah. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Exactly. Excuse me? There's only so much that happens <laughs> in this space. Yeah. Yeah, no one can hear you scream. Mm, actually, it's Star Wars. <laughs> sound seems to work, apparently. Yes, and fire seems to be as well. Yeah, just Who like... is Heartless Harry? Ooh. I don't know. Who is Heartless Harry? Heartless Harry is a fixer that lives upon uh, Narshada. No, Heartless Harry is the reason. Uh, sorry, Heartless Harry is the person who's setting you up with equipment and giving you the final uh, rundown of what will be happening uh, uh, immediately before you go in. Uh, he prefers mm -hmm. Harry, but his nickname uh, speaks for itself. So it's a silent Heartless. Yes. <laughs> Uh, what am I looking for? Mm. Roll 20. Because I'm going to have a look through Laura's characters, and I'm also going to share that with the uh, Laura's character. And I'm also going to share the visuals of that with the stream. I even have a, a, a big image I may have stolen from the internet, which Lenny can use or not, as she sees fit. Perfect. It could be inspirational. I even have backstory. I wrote backstory this oh. time. <laughs> I'm so proud of me. I haven't even worked out who my master is yet, so because I'm only a paddle one. Yeah. <laughs> I even have a mentor that has been lost to me. <gasps> I love the. <laughs> is he live? Is he dead? No. Problem with messing with organized crime. Did he get thrown out of a window? I don't know. He's just <laughs> gone. Demonstration. Alright. Oh, Why well, is there a word for the act of throwing someone out of a window but not the day after tomorrow? Well, That's... I think that in history, throwing people out of windows is more popular than the day after tomorrow. I mean, really, when is, to when is today popular, let alone tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I'll pay that. Uh... At least English has fortnights, Australian English. American English does not have a fortnight, it has two weeks. Awful. It's technically true, but it's awful, no bad, very bad, very bad, no good, awful bad. Terrible. Yes. Yes, yes it is. Thank you for summing it up. <laughs> right. Why isn't that working? I don't know. If you've got a picture, then maybe you should start, Laura. <laughs> I'm trying to find the picture that I was thinking of. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to talk about your character. Wait, okay, well, anyway, my character's going to be Gemma. Gem. She is a fringer. Um, my husband named the character uh, Gemma with a J or a G? A J. A J E W M A. My husband named her because it's shortened to Gem because my uncle used to call me that because I was his most precious cargo. Oh. Um, nice and smarmy. Um, my uncle was a hyperspace tracker person so I understand based on my really not enough reading that in the past they didn't have you know proper hyperspace engines so they had to have beacons and stuff yes so, so people would find routes for it and that's what he used to do plus a bit of smuggling on the side because you know hey why not um, and my uncle he um, unfortunately got in the way of some organized crime people and when I went to get supplies one day, which is I went to gamble stuff, um, he and the ship were gone. So I was stuck, presumably, on our shit up. Oh. I mean, repairing things and just making a living. Then an opportunity came to hunt down this bounty hunter guy. Pablo Star. <laughs> and I went, That's a brilliant idea. Let's go. Yeah, and Nashadar is definitely the sort of planet that a lot of people want to get off. They don't want to. They don't want to be around. Yeah, it's not a nice place. No, it's <laughs> it's literally one of the worst places in the uh, in the galaxy. A, uh, a hive of scum and villainy. Yeah, even worse than Shadow. Mm. <laughs> More than Mos Eisley. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's 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 like one Mos Eisley, the planet over. <laughs> it's not just a hive. It's a hives of scum and villainy. <laughs> oh, wow. 
they've it's committed a... to this ideal and they've stuck with it. Yeah, yeah. well, um, the planet was effectively built by slaves um, working for the huts. Effectively, what happened was because um, uh, uh, it's the moon off Null Hutter. There was the native people of Null Hutter that the Huts just uh, captured and enslaved, and they forced them to build their cities. And when they ran out of cities to build on the main planet, they uh, they flew them to Na uh, Nashada. And that's the reason why it's an area of uh, dark side, because apparently any place that was built by slaves taken from their home would be a, uh, an area of dark side forever. Yeah, you know, yeah. a lot of death and destruction and etc. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, uh, I'm gonna feel so much like uh, you know you just done the Ryan Reynolds advertising for um, Hugh. I'm gonna be like Hugh and go, oh yeah. Um, I, no, I, <laughs> I didn't have those. It's so like um, finding out when it's set. So it's just after the Mandalorian Wars. Yes. And that sort of thing. And Revan has been captured if people play the games. But um, the Mandalorians at that stage actually um, enslaved the <laughs> Cathar. Oh. <laughs> bunny slippers. Oh, oh yeah. I'm wearing, I'm wearing bunny slippers. I'll just take my bunny slippers. <laughs> right. um, Sorry. Yeah. They match I my um, hair accessories. <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing feet. them because my feet are cold and I don't want to wear socks. Oh, whereas I wear socks all the time. Um, so <laughs> anyway, okay, so Laura's done hers. Uh, mm -hmm. Mine is, um, her name is Silva. She is of the Cathar um, species, which is cat-like. Mal? Don't have tails. <laughs> and they, yeah. actually, they actually have about, um, you have the Cathar, but then you have a couple of subspecies. Mine is the um, the main uh, Cathar species, so it's got more of a Leonose sort of look. So the you know it doesn't have the mouth and uh, human nose. It's actually got the jawline of a a big cat line sort of thing. Oh. Um, I <laughs> I am a Padawan. Uh, training to become a Jedi, full Jedi. I mean, you have general. the silly hairdo. Uh, are we talking about the bit that goes The rat tail? <laughs> <laughs> the awful, awful <laughs> rat tail. Yes, I yes, I have to have oh. the rat tail. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you, um, with so the... you lied. You do have a tail. Well, yes. Oh. I, have a rat tail. I have a rat's tail. <laughs> Um, I have uh, a white mane, so white hair, yellow eyes, sandy skin, but um, I'm thinking she needs to have sort of like a, some dark eye line mm -hmm. under the eyes. Yeah. Um, female. See, this yeah. is how I'm going. <laughs> yeah, these are, these are just to get me the vibe. You will have to re-explain all of this to me again in much, much, much slower detail. <laughs> And Not be right. like, mm. and then there's a toe, <laughs> another <so>. toe, <laughs> mm. three I'm toes. Human, I'm human shaped with the appropriate number of toes and fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. The, um, well, I hope um, you'll be wearing shoes so I don't actually have to draw toes because that yeah. sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I'm not a hobbit. I get to wear shoes. Boots, yeah. like, boots for kicking. Middle. Oh. Yeah, these boots were made for kicking. I have claws, so I can do unarmed <laughs> wipe attacks. <laughs> meow. meow. Um, so my skin is going to be sort of like sandy brown, nearly tabby, I suppose you could say. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, so basically I am working on becoming my full Jedi because um, only a Padawan, um, and this is going to be a big test for me to see if I can handle it and uh, if I get through this I can then take the test yeah, <laughs> hey. yeah. Well, it's, it's the pre-test test yeah <laughs> part of that test will also be being able to make your own light uh, you, uh, getting the crystals to make your own lightsaber yeah which may maybe, all... they're... Sorry. <laughs> maybe they're made of dilithium mm. <laughs> Well, that would produce a beam that's... I'm just kidding. I, 
I'm not nerdy enough to know the interactions between Star Trek and Star Wars. Although I, I, you know what type of crystals they are? They might be delicate. You don't yeah, know. It's true. Um, so yeah, that that in fact that mission to find crystals to make your own lightsaber may or may not happen on screen, uh, depending on whether or not the party would want to help. <laughs> Definitely something that I've thought about and designed. Ooh, sounds good. Wait, yes? Hmm? How much does it work? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the best lightsaber ever is worth about 10,000 credits. What, what is it worth to them to pay? Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's um, not true. Oh, sorry, go on. No, 7,000, wasn't it, for a lightsaber? Uh, that's for a double-sided lightsaber. Oh, a yes. custom-made double-sided lightsaber is ten thousand, but if you when you start getting custom crystals, it can go up to a hundred thousand credits worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the party starts with ten thousand each. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. So you can just throw all your money on like a great lightsaber. Yeah. The like, yep. Good. There's <laughs> no point. It's all I need. <laughs> I don't need food. I just need sword. <laughs> yeah. I just need light stick. <laughs> exactly. Um, and uh, no. a little bit of backstory is that she hates the Mandalorians. That's going to look really hard on. <laughs> that, that is a very common opinion at the moment. Uh, because the Mandalorians just lost the war, and what's more, they prioritized attacking civilian targets rather than military ones, uh, the entire universe kind of hates them at the moment. Um, okay, I've done no reading, and I haven't watched The Mandalorian um, and most of the more recent films. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to have to catch what? up then, aren't you? Uh, no! Ma uh, the Mandalorian, okay, quick overview of The Mandalorians. The Mandalorians are both a race and a people. There's the race of Mandalorians from Mandalore and Malachor, uh, mm -hmm. but th as much as they are a people, there's a huge portion of them that are considered foundlings. Effectively, they went. They acted so much like Mandalorians. The Mandal um, certain clans went. You're great. We'll adopt you. Oh, that's so nice. So Mandalorians come in all shapes and sizes. You know, um, the and they they are, they're separated into a bunch of different warrior clans. Uh, in this part in the universe, uh, they all, they're also really well defined by their armor because it, it doesn't matter what you look like on the inside. On the outside, you look like a Mandalorian because you wear the armor. Boba Fett. Uh, yeah, Boba Fett. <laughs> Boba Fett is the original Mandalorian, uh, as in, not not in terms of law, but in terms of design. Yeah. Um, okay. So in this time period, the Mandalorians are split into two factions: the normal Mandalorians, which uh, they don't currently have access to a lot of different uh, oh, armor. Normies. So they don't wear their armor at all, and they pretend not to be a Mandalorian, so they can go out in public. They usually <laughs> have their armor somewhere. But they, they've hidden it. Because if anyone discovers it, they'll get beaten up. Which is the least bad scenario. They'll probably get killed. And then you've... So they're called the Crusaders. Then you've got the Neo-Crusaders, which are... Screw it! If everyone's going to shoot us at us anyway, we're going to have better armor! Uh, they don't have, they've lost access to Beskar, the traditional uh, metal of the Mandalorians. So they've just piled as much normal metal onto themselves as possible. Crusaders can have the Crusaders uh, can have armor that with jetpacks. Neo Crusaders armor is so heavy, jetpacks would never work. They're basically in walking power armor, and they're really, really up in your face about. Yes, we are Mandalorians. You got a problem with us? Fight us. And when that might, while that might sound aggressive to them, that's a really normal thing. If you can fight them and win, then you're right. That's just how their culture works. Okay, they're yeah. sort of like. Slightly less angry Klingons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or yeah. As potato people from Doctor Who. Yes. <laughs> uh, they're, they're, they're just a warrior people. They, they they have different they have different values. Like attacking a civilian target is not a sin because that's how you win a war. But also having your homeworld wiped out by Revan also not a sin. We're at war. <laughs> uh, Revan actually bombed Malachor Five so badly. That gravity and the force no longer work on that planet. I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, <laughs> it does now. Yes. Well, it, I don't think I don't the exact quote. I'm not sure that I, I think I don't know that that's how that works. Is Star Wars in a nutshell? Yeah. 
But even if you don't think you know how it works, that's fine because there's eight books about it and there's probably a Lego figurine for it too. Exactly. It's about the style points. It's all style points. That is true. It is all style points. George Lucas liked uh, World War II movies, Westerns, and uh, and samurai movies. And he brought all of it to space. Right. Without uh, paying attention. Do physics and other such exciting. Oh, absolutely. Well, he's not a space guy. <laughs> uh, it, it's annoying. He's a samurai western, whatever the other genre was that I already forgot. Guy. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. Sometimes World he, War One, World he, War War, 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 with the original explosion of the Death Star, they actually feel they 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 built a little Death Star and uh, blew it up, and they actually filmed the explosion from the bottom. So that the debris would fly in all directions evenly <laughs> um, in space. So it's amazing how much care they have to thinking about how it works in space in some areas, and then just sounds in others. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, any uh, any other questions? So I've sort of been I've sort of been looking through your uh, you're so looking through your character, Laura. We're starting at level five. I didn't know that, so I started that's, level one. That's completely fine. Uh, I, I, you know, I wasn't around. <laughs> so we're starting mm -hmm. at level. We're starting at level five. Also, uh, where did you get your normal ability scores? I uh, bought one by. Okay, cool. Um, the way uh, you can also roll them if you want, and you're likely to get higher because what I do is you roll five dice for each stat and keep the highest three. Or you can just, okay. or you can just do uh, point by, uh, 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 like the, those stats are fine anyway. It's just you'll well, probably get higher. I can roll like real dice, or I can roll them online. What what, what dice am I rolling? Um, roll, roll real dice. Uh, can you get your webcam to look at them? That's got to be content. No. Okay, never mind. I'll take your word for it. Rolling, 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 Five d twenties. Uh, yes, five, uh, five d sixes. Sorry. Yeah. Do you ever have that thing where, like, you start singing a song, but then halfway through you start singing another song and you're trying to figure out why? Mm. Oh, actually, I can do this uh, even better. Laura, can you go to your settings in um, uh, in Roll20? Yeah. And then I I, under Dice Options, uh, click all of the options. So enable Advanced Dice, enable 3D Dice, and uh, automatically roll 3D Dice. That way I can show the stream the dice rolls. So I roll five, you want me to roll five d6? Yeah, but uh, give me one more second as well, because I'll just bring it on the screen. There we go. Uh, one more sec. Uh, there's a okay. command you can do that automatically uh, rolls five d6, but only keeps the highest three. What's the command? I'm just trying to figure that one out. Uh, or I can just... I'm want. making faces because you can't see my face on the stream. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, the command is uh, uh, the same command as roll 5d6, but then kh3. Yeah. Can't see Lainey's face on the stream. I don't think she minds. She's doing a little dance and making faces at everybody. Perfect. It would, make, it would be no different. If you could see my face, I'd do exactly the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so I just need you to roll that dice five more times. Yay! <laughs> I'll beat <Yes>. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh Alright. Well, that felt like a win. <laughs> Such a drama queen. <laughs> Uh, Lainey is my name. I wrote Drama five is not my name. That's not how that goes. <laughs> uh, it should be uh, that. That was five d five. It should be five d six. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah. It should be five d six. I didn't even know that it would make. It would even try to roll d fives. Oh my! Um, someone sent me dice because they're nice to me, and they said like, "There's a whole set. There's multiple d sixes and a d two." Which, Those, it's a coin. It's a coin, yeah. 
It's about to say. Which is nice and all, and it matches, but even so. What am I up to? One more? Uh, Keepers. Yes. The most superior of verses. All right. So, you, you, uh, after all that, your dice rolls are about the same. No, no, my con, my con will be higher, which is so it won't be negative. So I'll be less okay. likely to die horribly. Okay, I'll sure. Long, so if it's a 12, 13, 14, 15. 13. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going from the bottom up. 12, 13. Four, uh, skipping the 14 because that was D5s. Uh, I got 12, 13, 13, 13. Hmm. Uh, is that. Just the, do we need one more dice roll? I think we do. Yes. We can do this. Come on. Entertaining content. Hi, hey. Hi, hi. Come on, roll dice by French. 16! This is so I can pick. Whatever I want. Into whatever you want, yes. Excellent. My decks shall stay the same at 16. Perfect. Hey, Joe. Are you able to post your picture? Yeah, I'll just work it out now. Hang on. <laughs> my goodness. Okay. Ever, all my friends. Uh... Uh, yeah, all my friends send me memes as soon as we start streaming, every time. <laughs> Just to keep you busy. Just to keep you busy, yeah. Um, to keep you entertained somehow. Mm -hmm. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Alright. Let's bring, cool. uh, let's go to Colt, and let's try to find Joe's picture. There it is. Oh my goodness, Joe is so cool. Hmm. <laughs> And human shape. As well. Yep, there's a vague human shape that you can't really see because I draw in light colours, but I promise I will sketch in a darker colour. Sh shows up better on stream, Thank though you. it will be painful for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. I can see uh, a head, the, maybe. The other thing Stop. you could do is you could share it with OBS Ninja, which would yeah, be annoying. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so much effort, like, hard. Huh? Yeah. That would be right. even more painful. I'm weak and frail and unbreakable. You're an artist. It will ruin your creative flow. Mm. <laughs> creative flow. Yeah, yeah. Sure. That's what I have. All right. So I'm <laughs> going to, uh, I can right. put yeah. Are You One Two on the stream as well. I have a kick. Mau Mau Lady. And got a big. A big kitty cat nose and kitty cat eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna these I the drawings are gonna be fairly derpy while I'm just sketching out the general design. So look forward to it. I hey. do. And am. Um, and are. And there's the head. That's a cat. Meow. Yeah. Meow meow meow. And you said there were more liony? They say have little liony ears. <laughs> That's what lighting is look like, <laughs> I guess, with absolutely no references whatsoever besides what you sent me. <laughs> no. So, for example, um, the Mandalorians are so crazy that if uh, Judith's character turned up and to like beat up and kill a Mandalorian, their possible they would their possible response would be, "You're cool. Ever considered being a Mandalorian?" <laughs> Yes, but I don't like the helmet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can't fit the... <laughs> if you stabbed them in the back was all sneaky about it, I assume they wouldn't like that. But if you were, like, you know, in a, in a duel for two hours straight, you know, in the streets, they would, they'd be more pro that than, you know, I snuck up behind you and went... Yeah. Ran away. Well, uh, for example, they're, they're, uh, as a people, they've been manipulated because they believe that if you can beat them in a one-on-one -on -one fight, you deserve to lead the Mandalorians. And Sith have been taking advantage of this for years. They <laughs> so go, does oh! Does it have to be a fair fight? Does it well, have to be fair? Uh, well, the Mandalorians will always try to make it fair, but their version of fair is a bit weird. 
Their version of fair is every piece of equipment they currently have on their person. From stimulants to grenades to thermal detonators to swords. So if I have a really good sniper rifle yeah, and uh, a knife tower, I could just well, take you, one out there. Oh, I win. No, uh, no while they would receive... Sorry? <laughs> You need to um, declare it and that sort of thing. Yeah, while they would respect you killing their leader, that's not that's not the one v one duel they envisioned. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> you would like imagine it. They would like you, but they wouldn't make you their leader. What if I texted them and like live streamed it so like you know there's a photo <laughs> setting up my little nest. <laughs> Effectively, the person you're trying to kill would have to agree to a duel where you the possibility of you killing them with a sniper rifle before the duel even begins is okay. And well, I can imagine a Mandalorian doing that. <laughs> oh, maybe if, if I just said all the items on me and we can be anywhere in the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that would be oh, fine. Dark mode. Yeah, <laughs> that, that would literally be fine. But what, what usually happens is the the Mandalorian chief wielding a giant two handed uh, vibro axe gets challenged by a Sith Lord. The Sith Lord wins the duel after an hour, and the Sith Lord goes, "Good, I'm the leader of the Mandalorians. Now go do this evil thing for me." And the Mandalorians are like, "Okay." <laughs> In fact, the entire Mandalorian war, it's theorized, was set up by a Sith. Mm. Um. Because they joined, because yeah, the Sith um, took control. That means they joined the Sith War, which happened before the Mandalorian War, um, and it just all went downhill from there for them. Oh my yeah. god, that is looking so good now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I just imagine <laughs> that because, like, you could cut the rest of your hair, just not the rat tail. Yeah. <laughs> and I imagine that because Kitty Cat has long hair, my cat has really long, floofy hair. That just the rat tail would be so long, and I'm like, I don't know how ridiculous it is because my first instinct was it would be like down here, <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> it can, and then, it, and then it'd be like an actual tail that like whips around. <laughs> that would be great. I just yeah. I mean, like, you were just a really bad Padawan, and you're just taking so long. <laughs> well, there's no. Normally, I was actually going to talk about this. Normally, Padawans are taken up when they're about like between seven and 14. Uh, yeah. Yeah, or yeah, even yeah. younger, yeah. Like, well, that's usually when they're at that seven between seven and fourteen is usually at the stage you're currently at. I believe your character sheet says you're thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, what I was going to do <laughs> is <laughs> sentinels. No, no, you, you don't have to. Sentinels don't give a crap about that sort of thing. If they find a force sensitive and they're a cool person. They'll just train them. Right. Um, they don't need the. They don't need the no republic. But it could also be you've been a apprentice for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, yeah. I did. I uh, only just found out last night uh, the age categories from the information <laughs> that you sent us, sort of thing okay, through the books. It's it's completely fine. Once again, uh, you are the exact type of Jedi that doesn't care about any of that bullshit. Mm -hmm. I say swearing on stream. Uh, <laughs> it, they, do this. I know, right? Uh, Disappointing. But yeah, no, that, in general, like the Sentinels, really, the Sentinels see the Council, the Jedi Council, as a guide, but not an authority. Mm. Like you know, uh, I'll do what you tell me to do, but don't you dare tell me which which uh, which random thirty year old I found I can train or not. Yeah, do you, you know, wear like the robe as well that yeah. they wear? Mm -hmm. I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it's Sentinels true. are one of so the only Jedi that don't have to, though, because they often yeah. go undercover. Oh, hell it. Uh, it's that whole thing of stealing. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, procuring images for you to have a look at. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I vaguely remember what it looks like from that one time I watched some of the movies. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to change my photo when you make it. It's probably good that <laughs> you haven't started on mine yet. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's probably the best one at the moment. Uh, the type of Cathar that Judith is playing also, uh, uh, male, regardless of male or female, often also has a little bit of sideburn action as well. Because, like, that's a lion maid. Mm. Not just letting Lenny know for... Um, wait, wait, wait. Later. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, I was planning on making the the face fluffy at some point yeah. because m- Mao. <laughs> Just soon as like, oh wait a minute. Ah, right, that's better. <laughs> did you know that? Uh, did you know that sideburns were named after a particular, um, I think, Independence War general, uh, Birdside, uh, uh, oh. Birds, uh, Burnsides, uh, actually got the the concept of uh, sideburns named after him. So and, weird. And there was also the the also the word hooker also came from a different general named Hooker. Because <laughs> uh, he was the first one to allow like women of the night to follow the camp, and everyone um, went, "Thanks for the hookers." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. The- uh, <laughs> that's his legacy. His friend gets sideburns. Global psyche. I think sideburns are worse. I, I would rather have. I would rather have another word for. Uh, uh, hooker named after me. Just imagine that you're out and about, and uh, someone makes a joke about Freddy's. You have like people <laughs> hands or Mau Mau hands. Uh, Mau Mau. So Mau Mau. Got, got claws, sort of thing. Because so. when I when I draw cat hands, they kind of just like. Yeah, you need a thumb. Yeah, I'll need a thumb, but yeah. <laughs> <Thank Mal. you. laughs> I've got my mittens. <laughs> <on. laughs> Mau Mau. <laughs> <laughs> like you're holding spaghetti. <laughs> oh, you got me. I'm <laughs> dead. Yeah. Hey, Jay Raptor. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> there are now cats out there with thumbs. <laughs> they've, they've, that they've got the the separated thing, so people beware. They are evolving to not needing humans. Mm. Well, they need us for slaves. So. They, they need us. You need us all the time, don't you? You kind of put your teens. Right. So I just need a lightsaber hanging off there somewhere, and she's pretty much done. <laughs> you need feet too, surely. Nah. Uh, we'll keep the road there long enough to cover. You are- you are a Jedi. Maybe you hover everywhere. I don't know about Jedi. <laughs> well, actually, it's it's it's, it's this it, it, in this time period. It's this cool combination of everyone knows the Jedi are real, but the rumors are still going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone's met a Jedi, but even then, they're still not a hundred percent sure of anything you've heard about a Jedi. Like, can they float? Do they float? <laughs> Uh, oh, Lainey, it's specifically a double-sided lightsaber, so it needs to be twice as long, because screw you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, don't they, you know, aren't they just like a stick, and then light come out of it? Yeah, but it's a really long It's a really long stick, because it comes out both sides. Right. I need Do to, I put like, it, like, on the oh. back? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can have a back um, thing for that, yep. It's like it's yeah. It? It's at least twice uh, as long as the normal lightsaber to like sometimes even longer. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now, man. And now there's just the option of artistic flair. Mm. Um, yes. She needs to have some eye guy eyeliner, so sort of like that stripy thing under the eyes. No. Yeah. Just to look tired. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you because, because she's because she's a thirty-five-year-old power. Yeah. <laughs> who just it's just like it's been too long. <laughs> just needs help. Um. So, oh, um, actually, can you go uh, an orange sort of background? Uh, I'm not doing the background. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, this, this is this is for layering, so that she can easily uh, select the yeah. Okay, this is uh, so like this I'm, is because it's a lot easier to go outside the lines and then delete it all and paint inside the lines than to go inside all the individual sections. Mm. I will take your word uh, for it. <laughs> heard me when I said oh. magenta. Well, you saw how quickly I did that, and if yeah. I did it in sections, it'd be yay, magenta rubes. 
haven't, <laughs> but that's okay. It's close enough. <laughs> yeah, so let's take a look. It's been yeah. it's, it's day, uh, year 35 of being a power to one. It's been a long time. <laughs> Well, wouldn't it be like, you know, I've been a part of one for 30 years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ever since I was five years old. That's <laughs> actually, I've just gone through a lot of masters. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, no, <laughs> go away. I keep um, mind before I finish my training. <laughs> yeah. It was white hair. Mm. Yep. With a... Because, you know, we all know that when we hit that ripe age of 35, our hair turns white. Yep. No, I'll pay that. <laughs> so the ripe young age of 35 is when we start going through the change. Oh, uh, well, you know, it, a horrific <laughs> thing happened, so it, it happened overnight. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens with 30 years of being a Padawan. You just grow old. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, look, you know, maybe I'll get a blue wash put through it. I don't know yet. <laughs> it could be, the if, we, if we're doing D&D jokes, it could be the reason why you haven't leveled up is you don't kill anyone. Like, you, like, like, cause like in D&D, for whatever reason, it, the main way to get XP is just freaking murdering people. That's uh, stealing everything. <laughs> but every time someone meets you, they're like, oh, shit, a Jedi Master! And you never get into any fights, and you never get into any conflict, and you never get any XP. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Joe? Uh oh. Can you Joe hear is him? silent. He's, he's very. Yes, yes J Raptor. Been a Padawan for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long ride. It's been a long fight. It's been a long day <laughs> without you, my friend. <laughs> and I'll tell you all about it when I'm finally a Jedi. Will you? Uh, or maybe it may never happen. Maybe I'm 35. Maybe it will. 35 in cat years. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, you know, it's like, how did it be taken um, serious? You have to be older. <laughs> What kind that's of so terrible good. master do you have? Well, that's the problem. Keep going through them. <laughs> do you want to be a Jedi, little kid? Do you want to be a Jedi? <laughs> no, oh, that's, that's a Sith right there. Yeah. Cats are usually Sith because it's like, you want to open the door. No, I don't want to open the door. You are going to open the door. <laughs> Look, I, I, I was... Uh, yeah, that's exactly the Jedi mind tricks a cat would use. <laughs> just laughing at you when you open the door and nothing happens, and they don't go through. Yes. Or staring at you while you sleep. <laughs> yes. A Jedi cat would go through. A Sith cat would sit there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I sort of imagined it as uh, the uh, Judas character became a Jedi sort of later in life uh, against the wishes of the Jedi Council. You know, like, you can't train this person, they're too old, and the master would be like, screw you! I know what I want! <laughs> It's not even about you, Judith, like, at all. It's totally about their personal vendetta against the Jedi Council. <laughs> and you're just like, sweet! <laughs> you, gave me a, you gave me a lightsaber. It's a bit big for me, but that's okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, more practice. I can do that. <laughs> yeah. I have high decks, and I think, and that sort of thing, or... Strength is not my big thing, so I've got to talk my way through a lot of stuff, or at least have enough force skills to uh, yeah be able to use them instead. Ah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, that's looking good. Oh my! Wow! Yeah. What I'm looking for. <laughs> a little bit. Oh my goodness, Loris' uh, little portrait has changed. It has. Yeah, I realized. Uh, that's something better. Fair. Oh, I've actually um, also built a fully functioning version of Pazark, the uh, blackjack equivalent of the era oh. in Roll20. So if you guys want to gamble, I literally have the deck of cards working. What's more, wow. it is a very legitimate way to get anywhere in uh, Nashadar. They love the game. 
It's it's like 1v1 blackjack, but you get to bring your own deck. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a weird. It, it works very well in the context of the original game. Uh, the, the Knights of the Old Republic. On stream, it might be terrible. Let's go, it'll be great. <laughs> Find out, shall we? Oh, well, I was planning to be a gambler. Exactly. Well, that's I read that in your uh, your uh, I read that in your backstory, and I went excellent, perfect. Uh, I've I've got that's... some extra items you can buy as part of starting items that you might be interested in. Yes, yes, I am because I thought I had way less money and way less levels, so I've got money to burn, baby. Yep. So the way it actually works is uh, everyone actually starts with twenty thousand credits, but ten thousand of them uh, you can spend, and I can't say a thing as your GM. You spend them whatever you can find in the book, that's fine. The other 10,000, you need to work out with me. But that they don't just cover um, things you can buy. They cover things like uh, Judith's Jedi Master, who owes, uh, you know, who is constant support and advice and also owes you a favor. Or maybe it's a senator that you once caught um, in a, in like a, in a motel <laughs> with um, a pleasure droid. Or, you know, it's like, it's everything about your character. Um, yeah. That isn't necessarily an item from the book, but it also covers things like custom equipment. The idea of pleasure droid. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Uh, so this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the art. You don't have contacts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's contacts. It's um, well, it's all the it's all those yeah. different things. And uh, for example, Brina's character in the previous Star Wars game spent it on rocket boots. She was a flying Ewok. <laughs> They need had Guardians of the Galaxy just come out? Uh, no. It had been out for a long time. But she definitely went, okay, I want Rocket Boots specifically, and then linked me Guardians of the Galaxy, and I went, okay. <laughs> I said, do you want a jetpack? And, uh, she, she actually, she originally was like, can I get a jetpack? And I was like, that's fine, but you may accidentally set your fur on fire. <laughs> and she went, okay, what about Rocket Boots? And I went, sure, sure. <laughs> They'll go rocket boots. Uh, that was, um, what was the name of the Ewok again, Lainey? Ari. Ari. Ari was the greatest pilot in the galaxy if you let Ari anywhere near a ship. For some <laughs> reason, no one trusted the tiny Ewok who didn't speak basic to fly their ship. But if you got them the appropriate box to sit on and little six to reach the pedals, <laughs> Ari was. <laughs> They have need to have rocket boots. Yeah, well, effectively, after learning how to fly every single vehicle ever, Rari went, okay, I need to learn how to fly me, and got rocket boots. Okay, that seems fair. Yeah. Um, the best vehicle is yourself. <laughs> it takes you where you need to go. <laughs> Because the way um, flight works in the, uh, the way that space combat works in the Star uh, game is normally everyone gets a standard action, a movement action, and a minor action. So effectively, you get to shoot with your ship, you get to move, and you might get to turn on a shield or something. Uh, you know, and everyone gets that. Even if you don't know how to fly a ship, you know how to press the three magical buttons in the top right hand corner. Uh, oh, that's yeah. a firefly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, you know, you know, you know, all the, but uh, really good pilots, though, can uh, get extra movement actions the more they roll, you know, at higher and higher and higher. So everyone else does takes like one or two actions, and Ari's off doing her ninth action, which she can't possibly fail, literally doing donuts around everyone else, because she turned off every safety feature ever possibly conceived. <laughs> yep. Um, so it's cool. And I do really like that way of, like, everyone can fly a ship, basically, you know, really basically. Uh, but, you know, pilots are just good at what they do. They are a leaf floating in the wind. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I hurt everyone who knows. Oh, J Raptor says, imagine only having one pleasure droid. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I think I'm done. <laughs> it's a mau mau. It's a mau mau. Human shape. That's yep. your oh, name that's, now. That's the background <laughs> lamp. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. so the, there's the the robes, yep. the stupid rat tail, <laughs> the big stick, yep. cat thumbs, Mm -hmm. little blue beads in the hair for style points and then a big purple scarf in case style points 
Well, you need to cover the head <laughs> now and again, sort of thing. So yeah, <laughs> instead of having or, a hood, I'll, I'll use the scarf. That's that's <laughs> better because most hoods wouldn't fit over all the hair. Yeah. Because I yeah. Because they're not made for meow mouths. No. Hmm. Uh, right. No. All right. I'm Here's done. my next victim. <laughs> That'd be more. Because Joe made his own, you know. He's, yeah. he's... Uh, also, Lainey's <laughs> done some art of Joe's character as well, I believe. I did oh. at some point do that. In the past. In the Yester past times, I did something that is similar to what the claim is being claimed of. <laughs> yes. A good time was had by all. Yes. Sorry, I'm just reading J Raptors. Do not put your leaves through the wash. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is it your machine or is it someone else's? Uh, it's the um, the Serenity washing machine. <laughs> As in, uh, if you haven't seen five, if you haven't seen, uh, uh, we're, we're we're quoting a particular scene from Serenity with, with, while trying not to spoil things. I've seen it. I just don't understand the washing machine reference. Well, wash. you know, um, uh, oh, because he's washed. Okay, yeah, yeah, and then he, then and things he go through the wash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot his name. Uh, yeah, he's uh, yeah, wash, not what, mm. which is his other character. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he, um, uh, yeah. So uh, all right. So, uh, Lainey, I'll, I'll bring up on stream mm. quickly. Uh, mm. the, uh, the, the, the only concept art we have so far for, uh, Lois character, Gemma. Yep, Gemma, there we go. Well, it is also from a TV show, so there is more images. <laughs> it's just, um, yeah. But it's, it's called Dark Matter. It's pretty good. It ends abruptly because it ran out of funding. It's Canadian. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that what? happens. It does yeah. happen. But she's pretty cool. Yeah, She was the best character. Yeah. Uh, what was her number? Five. <laughs> Five, that's it. Which I found out when I tried to find an image. Of it, which <laughs> was... <laughs> As you notice, for all the females, we don't put in weight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want to ask? Wait, none of your business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only way you'll find out is if you try to pick me up, and if you pick me up, I'll cry. And it's your <laughs> fault. <laughs> I'm only five two, so it's like that high on me, so I'm assuming and I'm assuming she's pretty skinny because I doubt that she's been paying for a lot of food. I assume she's been gambling all her money away. Perfect. <laughs> you know, my friend food when I can gamble. The first time I ever run a Star Wars game, I did it for a few friends of mine, and oh my goodness, they solved everything through gambling. Everything. They needed I money. Does not gambling. surprise me knowing the people. Like uh, Ronald McGunga, uh, Gungan Fringer, who knew who I was a master Ronald gambler. Uh -huh. Sorry, what was that, Lenny? I drew. I drew Ronald McGunga. Yeah. At some point, along with that um, other cursed drawing I did of a Gungan. Oh, yeah, the, the Gungan in the ballroom dress with uh, cleavage. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Excuse me, sexy Gungan. That's yeah. what it is. Okay, yeah. Sexy Gungan. All right. Uh, yeah, so they, they just went through my campaign, and they just, oh, my goodness, they, they just, every single time I wanted them to steal something, they bought it. Every single time I wanted something to fight some, uh, fight something, they uh, they stole it. And every single time I wanted someone to gamble something, they fought it! <laughs> <laughs> and you know, oh. and I wasn't... Okay, there's the final boss fight on the surface of the planet against a Sith Lord. There's no way they can avoid this. You know what they do? They left the planet. They just, wa <laughs> they just went. They're gone. They don't care. I've been in a game like that. Well, actually, I wasn't in the game. I was uh, the one being led away to be sacrificed. Oh, no. <laughs> and the, the other party, because they, the DM had two parties running in the same game, mm -hmm. and the other party was brought along to save our party, and they saw a town full of undead, a necromancer, our party being led off, 
And they said, no, we're going to turn around, go back and tell the authorities what's happening here. <laughs> so, yes, we had a TPK. <laughs> oh, geez. Pragmatism seems perfectly reasonable in these situations. Mm. Yes, I did not see the draw, uh, the reference material. I can send uh, it to you. Uh, that would be appreciated because right now I just have this derpy looking face. Well, she's got looked- some goggles sticking off the top of her head. You know, it's um, the same part. <laughs> from, um, mm-hmm. have you seen Big Hero 6? Yes. The, the face looks like that. The big squishy robot. Well, the goggles aren't necessary. They're just sort of like, look, I repair stuff, kind of. Mm. <laughs> this is. Uh, it's, it's, sorry? Up to you. Uh, this is this is a tech. This is a fringer. This is a uh, someone who deals and lives in not necessarily junk, but junk. Uh, this is a self-taught tech, tech specialist. So you know, lady goggles, hair, like uh, hair, uh, uh, cool <laughs> outfit, um, like potentially even like pieces of like technology just hanging off, ready to go. A small box of paper clips. <laughs> not not. <laughs> Not necessary. <laughs> oh, that's the MacGyver. Oh, yeah. That's a new MacGyver, MacGyver um, reference. Um, um, I'm, <laughs> some, my jacket's probably held together with some duct tape because I'm pretty sure duct tape has transcended through the centuries. Absolutely, it has. <laughs> well, I'll have you know yeah. that uh, Star Wars is from a long time ago. Mm. So, wow. yeah, like, yeah, and this is even a prequel to being a long time ago. So, duct tape is there, totally. Yeah. Oh, they gave us duct tape. That's awesome. Oh, no, no. We have refound duct tape. Oh. <laughs> we rediscovered that. It's so handy. Yes. Mm. It but yes, definitely. It's got a dark, si- a shiny side and a dark side, uh, you know. <laughs> and it's just a metaphor thing. for life, really. Yeah. Oh, my and goodness. Get- Sorry, I-, I just realized you could have antennas, you know, like the chopsticks in the hair bun style. <laughs> you could just have antennas sticking out of it. <laughs> Uh, well, I imagine one of these is some kind of tool. Yeah. Yes. Kind um, of tool. And I imagine the other two are like some form of like lockpick. And it's like, sure. if I just hide them in my hair as like chopsticks, no one will ever know. <laughs> well, it's like, I just forgot no, and shoved. No ever. one's going to pull out my hair accessories because they seem dodgy. Yeah, oh. because my look is shiny and full of sparkles. Yeah, no one's gonna take my bunnies. Where, where did I put my picture last uh, time? This would. Um, I you put it in the cult theater chat, and I've actually got it up on stream as well. Mm. Um, um. So, yeah. Uh, if you go to the cult theater chat and RPG Entertainment, um, just scroll up a little bit. It's just there. Yeah. Although you know, you could be like, I'll go back even further. Reference. Um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The secretary. Oh, oh yeah. A pen? 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 I've I've seen that movie once and although I oh, enjoyed okay. it, it was the most difficult experience of my life. Because I'm like an <laughs> awkward watcher of things, you know. I love watching movies more than once because you know I like I get past all the uh, you know, the awkwardness, but I went, ah! How is he getting away with it? <laughs> the entire <laughs> way through, which is I guess what that what they wanted. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Also, what his best friend was saying the entire time. Like, if I did this, this wouldn't work. <laughs> it also only worked because of lack of mobile phones. He's even got a Kickstarter. Uh, save he does. Ferris. Save Ferris. Fun to save Ferris. <laughs> and there's a band named after him now. Yeah. And Deadpool. Uh, <laughs> what? You're still here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to watch it all the way through. Uh, that's another thing that I did. Throwing something on the end. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. I just realized... Um, okay, so Joe just uh, messaged uh, a little uh, RU12 uh, sticker. But I just realized, as a cool droid... You know how like you have like a, like a leather jacket or like a jacket with different patches and you, you go to concerts and stuff and it gets like mm. better and better? You can do that mm. with stickers, Joe! I reckon yeah. it could. He can just be covered in stickers. Yeah. Like, Rich, what, like you know. On my, so- my jetpack, that's where they are, on my jetpack, so half of them get burnt all the time. Perfect. Return cool. to sender. Uh, there is yeah. no, ma- uh, not covered well, by I, warranty. There is no have, manufacturer. I have the perfect reference for that. Um, 
uh, when one of my mum's friends passed away, we got some of his furniture from back when he was a DJ. And at every <laughs> single place he DJed, he collected as many stickers as possible to put on the furniture. You cannot see any of the furniture underneath. It is all sticker. Wow. And there's all kinds. There's band stickers. There's anime stickers. There's very inappropriate stickers that are so inappropriate. And I'm like, why? <laughs> and there's just like, there's just cute things. There's Hello Kitty. There's Simpsons characters. There's wow. all sorts of things. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> oh. That's coming along. Hey, yeah. It's all about the jacket. You gotta have some. Little bunny. Uh, have a little oh, bunny. Little bunny. <laughs> I'm feeling bunnies today. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can tell. She seems to have all chin. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the that's the style and that's the vibe I'm calling for. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the that's the style of this is the style of low effort Laney. Okay. Uh, who, just wa- who just wants a design. Okay, that's fine. Well it, This is um, not the permanent finished unless, drawing. Unless the mouth is a nose, in which case it's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an artist. I don't know these things. <laughs> Who's to say where the mouth ends, the nose begins? Uh, I'm the artist. It's true. Do you know the bird with the shortest nose is? No. Because they don't have... They don't have noses. The kiwi has the small... uh, Sorry, beak. The kiwi has the smallest beak out of all 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 birds because they actually measure it from the nose hole. And the nose hole for a, a kiwi is actually down near the bottom of the beak sort of thing. So where so that they, is. So they basically have like an anteater nose that's a beak. Yeah. That's so <laughs> weird. That's so weird. Um, yeah, it's just sort of like cute. It's like, wait a minute. What do you mean it's got the smallest beak? It's huge. No, it's, it's how they measure it. Uh, statistics and uh, yes, it can be whatever you like. Uh <laughs> All these measurement things. Yeah, I need a bag for Sawcraft. Very unrelated. <laughs> I literally go through life uh, at Sawcraft just dumping my stuff on the random members of my warband and getting them to follow me around. Really? Oh, yep. wait a minute. As in, I don't like that person. Follow me. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Not the people I enjoy. The most. Lady's my secretary. I also have an assistant as well as other people. Getting me through a week-long LARP event is a team effort. Oh. I am useless. <laughs> oh, I see. You're using your praises as you go. It's just tame you and oh. your... your... <laughs> Exactly. Brave, brave Freddy. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, I go up. I, okay. I need a lot. Um, in terms of making fun at Sawcraft, I need a lot of support. But once the ball is rolling, I will dominate an event. Uh-huh. <laughs> totally. Uh, I'm pro that. Yeah. I'd join your. I would. Thank you. Because yeah, that's how awful, awful, terrible things happen. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just, I just, I need, I need a lot of support. Because you know, I do things like forget to eat. And forget oh. my business cards, and forget my magic book, and my robes get I all tangled. I have his magic book. It is behind me. <laughs> it is up up in this corner with my barrel and my canary wagon wheel treasure chest. Right. So you <laughs> and then the lost. mad mage's magic book. <laughs> so you're the one who has to take it along for it. Oh, no, I just accidentally ended up in my possession, and I just. I'm just like f- fine. Although, whenever, whenever I'm off to do spells and like I'm off to do magic stuff, it's literally Laney following behind with a quill, a leather book, and all the other stuff I should be carrying. But I'm too busy doing weird things with my hands, like yeah, magic, spirit fingers. You sound like Arthur from um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh, poor guy. Exactly. All I ever wanted to be. <laughs> Uh, I actually find it so funny that at one point Sawcraft had to ban references to the Holy Grail. Because that's all <laughs> Sawcraft was for an event. <laughs> and they're just like, no, enough. I've heard the knights who say Nate so often, I'm done. 
<laughs> oh, I know where they are from because me is no in Luxembourgish. So if you're a knight in Luxembourg, you're a knight who can see who says me. <laughs> That's perfect. By the way, I believe it's spelled differently though. Mm. Then you have fun facts about a Kiwis and Luxembourg. <laughs> And also that Luxembourgish is actually a language. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> oh there's the Joe. Okay, um, uh, while we're people are working on stuff, I'm gonna make sure all the chibis are working. The chibi, chibi, the little chibi, chibi faces. Because face. um, oh, right. you know how there's one for me. Yeah. Well, ladies done mm. one for all of us now. I just ha yeah. haven't set them up. Yeah, there's even one for me. I was the first one I did because mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> selfish. You are the first chibi. You are a progenitor. Uh, <laughs> yours is there. Yeah. Yeah. Yours J, J Raptor right. said, didn't they also ban magic because you actually used it? Oh, yeah, that too. I I am personally responsible for the entire system of magic getting removed from Sawcraft uh, circa 2012. Wow. Um, <laughs> magic as a rule set was removed in favour of roleplay magic. Uh because it used to be, like, if you heal someone magically and you heal someone not magically, it had different rules. And I uh, used those rules to my advantage a lot. And the only after trying to balance uh, m me and my terrible warband back in the day, uh, they just ended up removing it. The patch notes read, removed magic. Wow. <laughs> Uh, it was a uh, it was a time. I've got a full story that goes with it, but uh, hot damn, uh, I was the worst. <laughs> I want to join your Soulcraft Warband. Yeah, it was fun. It was oh, it was so good. Uh, please, please do. We we do we do random stuff at Quest. Um, oh wait, you'll have to you know come to the country. Uh, yeah, it might. Be <laughs> no, no, it should be fine. It'll be it'll, it'll be great. What you do um, is you put a, um, a an iPad or something like that in a bottle, or even your phone. I could be your, your pet demon. He head in a, <laughs> uh, a jar or something like that. <laughs> yes! It could be like the mushroom. The mushroom? I don't a mushroom. Um, no, someone at Quest, their warband leader couldn't make it. So they were carrying around a mushroom, and they just said it was the warband leader. He just turned into a mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, and then he turned into a mushroom, and then and then he ran for the election. He, I nearly got beaten by an inhabited uh, mushroom. That is not true. <laughs> the mushroom came almost fast. <laughs> Sorry, if, if, if you're a your demon in a jar gets to vote, I'd vote for the mushroom. <laughs> so, Freddie, I haven't created a character. How do I do that? Um, uh, go to. Uh, have Am you? Am I got... missing anything? Like a weapon or something? Um, I have knives. I have a vibro knife, whatever that is, and a, and a knife. Well, can you just draw? Where it would me? you keep hmm. those? Uh, uh, vibro knife should be on the belt, probably. At least one on a belt, presumably. It seems to be traditional. Maybe one sticking out the bag, because you know. Why, Why not? Have one. <laughs> uh, well, it's a very really limited goal. Well, credit. So I only had two, I had two, <laughs> one regular one and one vibro. So it's what five D six. Yeah, I'll just yeah. pretend the that there's three. knives in the bag. Yes. Aesthetically, it seems perfectly. Reasonable. I don't know where to add anything else. For, forward slash R and then exactly. Yeah, the the All good. Uh, let me just bring it up on screen for a second. So, oh no, don't mind. People won't be able to see your rolls anyway. Ten. All right. Uh, did so, you give me... sorry. Hmm. Right, did you give me strappy socks? Um, there's just many sock. I gave you multiple <laughs> layers of sock. No. Okay. And the sock, the socks are gonna be odd on either side. That is inspiration from someone who I knew in real life. Who didn't? Who just wanted to wear as much sock as possible at any given moment? But because all of the socks were odd on either side, she just kept adding more socks until they ready? were roughly the same amount of squishy soft sockness. So there would be like four socks on one foot and like six on the other. Wow! Oh, I can fit boot. Obviously, I found my boots in an alley, and they were too big, and I had to wear all the socks. Yeah. Sorry, Joe. You're ruining your character creation. 
<laughs> and it'll keep your uh, feet warm as well. <laughs> yes, and pat. Uh, I got this. Uh, sorry, how many, pretty? Uh Six. I'm also just uh, taking the opportunity to bring up the little stats window. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. So people can see Joe rolling. Okay. <laughs> 10, 14, 16, 15, 15, 12. Yeah. So if you like, you can... Uh, so I'm very, very, lo uh, very, very loose with this. If you like, you can keep them. If you like, you can re-roll them. My only restriction is you can't go back... You can't roll five and take the best one. You can only keep the most recent one you've rolled. So if you get, like, one that's five 18s and one 12 and you decide to re-roll it, you have to wait until you somehow get that again. I'll try again then. Sure. 12... Uh, uh, 17, 17, that's seven, the first one. That's huge. 10. That's small. I'm writing them down here yeah, as well. Easy. Uh, Laura, did you want to have some blue in the hair and stuff like that, like uh, number five? Yeah, well, I say I've got brown, but, you know, uh, having some, some colour might be good. But, you know, really, it's Lainey's creative choice. I, I wouldn't want to impede that. <laughs> there can be no character without you, Laura. Four. True. <laughs> but I think if it's going to be more, it needs to be more vibrant, I feel. Yeah. Colored hair, it needs to be like Five, hold on. darker blue. Off. Yeah, like raven oh, off kind of. I'll oh, take these one. <laughs> Is that a good roll? Seventeen, are... ten, fifteen, 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 fifteen. That's that's yeah. great. Yes, it that, is. Then. Um, oh, you'll just have to pick one stat you're bad at, and the rest, because uh, ten is the natural is the average for a human. Yeah, that's what I'll take. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, that, that, exactly. So, like, um, you're you're above average at everything. Uh, everything. Yeah. Uh, between eight eight and ten uh, is the average that all humans have in most stats. If I, I was doing okay. my own stats right now. Um. So yeah. Oh. Uh, also, um, as a particular type of droid, um, you'll get bonuses and negatives as well. So, uh. Uh, what sort of droid? Uh, so there are five degrees of droids. Um, uh, effectively, the tech droid, the soldier droid, the worker droid, the um, the pro uh, the, the well, if I'm good at everything, a worker droid sounds probably yeah. better. Yeah, uh, well, he's definitely not a protocol droid. <laughs> definitely, I mean, he might be. He might be start because you. It's more the sort of droid that you start off being, and then you build into what you want. Yep. Um, so a protocol droid gets bonuses to wisdom, wisdom and charisma and intelligence and negative to physical stats. Um, worker droids get massive bonuses to strength and big negatives to everything else. Uh, soldier droids get bonuses to dex, con, and strength. Uh, let me just bring up the book. I shall be right back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to away for a sec. I've oh, got good. a kitten that is uh, going senile. <laughs> Fluctuations in the inverted subspace phase variance, maybe? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. reverse that. So yeah, first degree droids are effectively mobile computers. Uh, examples of them, R2-D2. Second degree droids are engineering and technical... Oh, well, actually, no. No. Uh, the second one's R2-D2. Never mind. Um, uh, so first degree droids are effectively science droids, second degree are engineering and technical droids, third degree are translation and protocol droids, uh, fourth degree are security and military droids, and fifth degree are common laborers. Cheap, predictable, in most cases, disposable. Mm-hmm. Probably that one. Cool. Um, you'll get plus two to strength and negative two to wisdom and charisma. So just once okay. you've finished putting in your stats, I'll t I'll tell you what to modify. Uh, well, I haven't. Uh, where's the character sheet? Is it in? Is it in? Yeah. Uh, so in, in roll twenty, uh, you, the third button on the right, uh, yep. you'll see a list of characters, and there's one listed under Joe's character. Joe's character, right? That's yep. It. And you should be able to edit it and stuff. Attributes. Yep, and then just assign what you want to it. Oh, I see. Oh, it's very dark. Yes. So I'll bring... Uh, I'll... Uh, do you want your character to be, like, super colourful or, like, super, like, brown? 
<laughs> brown, but every so often there's like a really bright sticker or tape or yeah. something. Because uh, a part of me was thinking of making the jacket a bright orange. <laughs> or the pants. Um, well, one of my stats, I definitely want a skill in hide, because I, and I feel that, that might be counterproductive. But I feel nah, my hair, nah, 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 nah. My hair should be brighter. Oh, is Kuzma a good dump stat in this? Um, <laughs> depending on what, what you want to do, yes. Okay. If you, um, charisma is simultaneously your sheer force of personality and also how much people like it. What helps me aim? Dex, not charisma. <laughs> you don't need charisma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so strength is all melee attacks. Dex is all ranged attacks. Con is HP. Uh, intelligence is how much skills you get. And wisdom is things, uh, skills based on like looking around or... I've only got up. two stats, really. I've got a 10 and a 17. The rest are 15, so... Yeah. So I'm imagining I'm going to put 10 into Charisma and 17 into Dex. Yeah. All right, and I can bring I can to that. Done. Okay. And that's it? That's all I need? Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, in terms of... Uh, 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 no, wait, uh, because you're of the type of droid you are. You need to add plus two to strength and negative two to wisdom and charisma. Unless you want to go the military type droid, which might make sense. Okay, I might do that then. All uh, right, plus two dex, plus two con, negative four intelligence. How do I pl plus? Uh, just I just literally take the total, like uh, like um, uh. Oh, sorry, so plus two dex. Yep. So that yep. raises your dex to uh, Nine, 19. nineteen. Yep. Yep. Sorry, okay. yeah, go on. Sorry, it was Dex and... Uh, plus two... Sorry. Con, uh, uh, yeah, uh, plus two Constitution. So just Dex and Con. Yep, and then negative four to Intelligence. Negative four to Intelligence. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yes, you don't make orders. You don't actually make orders. Yeah. Oh, at least that's, you know, when he was there, that's what he was built to do. And, you know, you can increase them naturally over time as well. So your Intelligence would become 11. Uh, then at level four, you get to increase one skill, one of those stats by one. Are we, are we level four? We're level five. Oh, uh, we're starting okay. Well, okay, so I might put my strength up or something. Um, yeah, if you, uh, if you put your... Con, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, strength, con, and dex are all good choices. Dex makes you better at firing things. Strength makes you better at punching things. Con right, makes I'll you better at taking punches. So can I be 20? Yeah, 20 is fine. There's no maximums okay. in this game at all. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's all my stats, and that's all I need. Or yep. Do, um, do you do the rest? I can do the rest. Um. So the other thing, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how many skill points you have, and then I'll let you spend them. So. Uh, what, okay. Uh, because you don't have much intelligence, you won't be good at many uh, a lot of things outside of combat. But you'll be good at the things you do pick, if that makes sense. Uh. All right. Uh, classes. All right. I'll, I'll stay quiet for a little while, and then I'll give you all the information so we can keep talking about the art. Repair, I think I'd definitely go into. And pilot, I imagine. Um, hmm. What else can I get into? Soldier. Gambling. Hmm. You didn't strike me as a gambling robot. Oh, Demolitions. Yeah. That'd be fun. Might need some self Demolitions would be fun. Maybe some self-repairing might be useful. Is that like healing? I don't know. You're oh, a droid. I don't know. Repair, is, repair is healing for droids. There you go. Repair. All right. You have oh. 32 points to spend, and you can put a maximum of eight into any one skill. Uh, Max eight. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll also quickly one? tick the ones that you can... Uh, I'll just quickly tick some ones. Uh, yeah, cheers. Uh, uh, these are the ones that uh, soldiers are naturally good at, because I'm assuming you're going to be a soldier. Yeah. Um, quick question about skills. He's got 32, and he can go up to 8. Does that mean, like, he can... Out of the 32, he can minus 8? Like, or is it as it gets higher, does it get harder? <laughs> Every level, he gets another eight skills to spend, and he can put another so another four skills. 
uh, skill points to spend, and you can put in uh, a maximum. A uh, maximum goes one higher as well. Does no, that... I mean, sorry. I think, so I get one rank, and is it one? Is it rank yeah. two? Is two? Is, is two points? Uh, it's it's one rank per rank. So if you want to get to level eight in something, it just costs eight points. It's not cumulative. <sighs> My husband was like, "No, you can't do that. You're spending too many points." It's like, but I'm not. Uh, use... I'm going to give all my knowledge back. Yeah, and this version, uh, all the versions are different. So, but this version specifically, it's not cumulative at all. Uh, so, with these things that you've ticked here, uh, so uh, I'll put it on screen as well, just so the stream can see. Uh, can I change now, the character sheet so it's not so dark? Um, it, it might be. Uh, are you seeing a uh, black background with white text? Yeah. Um, that might just be because of the, your browser's dark mode. at the uh, okay. So you'll have to find the setting in your own okay. browser. Because uh, I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing it uh, white with black text. Gotcha. Uh, pilot, profession, repair, uh, tree injury. So the way the ticks work is everything that I've ticked costs one point for you to increase your rank by one. Everything that's not ticked uh, costs two points to get one rank in. So effectively, okay. these are the skills that are part of your training as a soldier. Okay. Anything else so, you need? Uh, anything else you need, want to level? Uh, so ticks are times one, and non ticks are times two. Exactly, and you can put it up to a maximum of eight ranks in yep. any any one skill. Okay, I'm just going to reload my browser. Cool. Um, so I can uh, I have that, so I can just put that on screen so people can sort of see what's happening. And the meantime, so Laney, describe currently what's going on with your drawing. I like it. I, I, I've changed my mind. The orange is good. Yeah. Well, see, because the hair is blue and orange is the opposite color of blue, so color theory. And I just like the idea that one of the sleeves at some point fell off, so you just had to make a new one. And this one's brown. And it would also look good if it was orange so yeah yeah uh, so specifically joe the um the put, put you bit you can put skills into is the ranks uh section yeah i can't get dark mode off for some reason don't know oh. what i've done oh i'm an idiot it wasn't my browser it was roll 20 that was in dark mode oh okay perfect <laughs> what that's my mine lady it'd be very yeah. if the tape around my knee was like fluorescent orange like it's the you know it's like safety tape yeah well know. i kind of did uh because you mentioned duct tape so i'm like oh duct tape color <laughs> no i agree I agree I but fluorescent duct tape <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's you know it you, be, it's, like stripey yeah yeah like it's you know like it's actually a warning thing like you know it's, it's, this this is a not safe area that's that's that, that's that tape um, it is astro gate Astrogate is specifically hyperspace. It's a navigating hyperspace. Okay. Oh, the reason you can have a maximum of eight in any one skill is because of your level. The what it is is it's your level plus three is the maximum you can have in any one skill. So as you get as you level up, the maximum goes up, and you get a certain amount of points. So effectively, you can max at thirty two. You can max four skills, and every time you level up, you can keep them maxed. I'm getting some Ramona flowers sort of vibes, but also yeah. like uh, better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should really that that that. Oops. Yeah, that's thing number five. <laughs> But she has a uh, Ramona flower sort of, you know, aesthetic. Uh, it's, I yeah. think it's the blue hair. Yeah. Uh, Jaraptor says, you son of a bitch, Freddy. I just DM'd that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did, did, I, did I just get a DM? <laughs> Ramona flowers? <laughs> oh, was it the, um, the, uh, was it the, uh, the maximum amount of ranks you can put in something? Because I, uh, Oh, uh, Jay wrapped oh. the end that to Laney. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> yeah, that is sort of the vibe, isn't it? 
<laughs> it's definitely the blue hair. But I feel if I change the hair color to any color that's not a natural hair color, it'll still look like a... Yeah. <laughs> Needs to be proud of blue. Because yeah. originally I had no. it so just like the front of the hair was blue and the rest of it wasn't blue. Uh, Lainey, Laura's asking for a uh, deeper blue. Yes, electric. Yes. Electric blue. I've got a feeling that the word's going to be deeper. No, no, but deeper again. <laughs> deeper again. More fake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's not a blue rinse. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. I actually had blue hair um, when the pandemic started, and then it really was a sad sad time because I couldn't get it redone. So. <laughs> I couldn't keep it blue. Look, <laughs> I understand. My hair was purple, and I miss it. I miss my purple hair. Very deeply. I miss my, my fringe. I miss my blue hair. But then again, it did come off on things, so, you know, I don't miss that bit. <laughs> so how does that look? Uh, well, it helps me with um, guns in, in the skill. Not much? Uh, nope. Uh, not really. There's not much. Um, oh, but, actually, craft guns. <laughs> um... So at the bottom, craft. The, um, cra uh, uh, it doesn't. Well, oh, I see. Add craft. Yeah. So yeah, if you, you can add it, add. And then you oh can, wait, yes, I can. Yeah. So I, I just clicked it, but you can, you can click it too. Uh, everyone is uh, proficient in crafts, knowledges, and professions, and there's a giant list. So uh, craft. Uh, if you have more than five ranks in guns, um, you can get uh, uh, you can get um, some bonuses when attacking. As well as being able to modify your own guns. So uh, specifically, you have to choose between blaster pistols or blaster rifles or uh, slug throwers. You have to, to pick specifically a type of gun. But since we don't really know what guns you have right now, just leave it as guns. Guns. And we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. What about a melee weapon? What, what melee weapon do I have? Oh, uh, you would have a vibro blade, vibro axe, or vibro dagger. Um, so vi yeah, fiber blades, uh, fiber blades kind of look a bit like sci-fi katanas. What's uh, the attack bonus on them? Uh, blade. Uh, where, where does it actually come from? Uh, it's, uh, it is a, effectively, it, it's in the book. It's effectively a, a katana with a battery in it. And, uh, through vibrating, uh, through vibrating, it makes it immune to lightsabers. That's the reason why everyone uses them. They're not the best melee weapons ever. But they can't be cut by lightsabers very easily. So you can actually defend yourself. If yeah. somebody brings one at you, you can put that up and it'll stop. Yeah. Every, because, like, uh, so is that not how it works? Uh, you're saying it's not how it works? No. How does it work? Okay, so it's, like, it, it's, it's never explained. It's only in, it's only, it's in specifically Kotal. Vibroblades work differently in the modern era. Um, well, it's a different like, technology yeah, with the same name. Five. So, yeah, so a. Uh, so any, so yeah, J Raptor saying they can come in any shape. They don't just have to be katanas. Uh, but effectively, uh, they're made of a metal and they're powered up so that they get a damage, a massive damage resistance against lightsabers. Because there are so many Jedi everywhere, everyone in Kotor carries a bus, a sword, just in case they ever have to fight a Jedi. Because you know, it's not, it's not an impossibility. Everyone's met a Jedi once. No one wants to be on the wrong end of a Jedi with no chance. I just don't. Uh, the physics of this works. It's vibrating, so a sword made of light can't hit it. Yeah, a sword made out of plasma light. I'll have yeah, but you it's, it's Star Wars. It's it basically doesn't... it's Disney kids stuff. So yeah, it doesn't have to make sense. Um, so it's it's mostly the metal it's made out of. I believe the vibrating is as much to give it more damage as anything else. Uh, so everyone has vibroblades, and what ends up happening is. Because everyone just has a sword on their side, a lot more sword fights happen than any other era of Star Wars. Because everyone just has one sitting there, and they've been training to use it, and they want to use it. And you know that guy. You know the guy in front of you, ten meters in front of you, isn't a great shot. You're pretty sure you can cut him down before he shoots you. Okay. Like, because yeah, so um, yeah, so it's it's and that you know what you know what a huge amount of swords makes it more like D and D than any other era. <laughs> well, I mean. 
they do have space swords anyway, like lightsabers. Exactly, but it not it's not now Thor and melee combat is not just for force sensitives. In this era, everyone does it. The bag. The bag. <laughs> What's the, what would be the maximum amount of damage I could have for a gun at, um, at this level? Uh, there is a two-handed, almost chain gun sized um, bl- uh, uh, rifle. Uh, that deals, um, so what about, 3D8, what about a sniper 3D10. Gun? Um, the, uh, there's another one that, there's one of those that deals 4D8 damage, um, with a range of 40 mm. meters. What's, range my, what's the most minutes. versatile in the group? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bring up the list of weapons. There's, there's all I'm sorts I'm kind of, of looking at some of them, but I'm not understanding much of them. Like, I don't know what WP means. What's that? Uh, wound points or something? I believe that's wound points. So WP just means how hard easy is it to chop with a lightsaber? It's effect. That's effectively the weapon's HP. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Weapon points, right? Instead of yeah. hit points. Let me bring up the equipment section. So we're looking at the same thing. Um. Uh, where were you finding WP? Arms and Equipment Guide PDF. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, that's the that's the extended um that's the extended equipment thing. There's also a, ba- a basic list of stuff in the revised core rulebook. So am I not allowed to look at this one? No, you totally are. It's just like um that's the like the expansion pack. So it just doesn't have any of the it, it doesn't have a lot of the really basic stuff. Um, you can totally, you can totally use that book. It's just like, um, uh, they're all modified versions of equipment that exists inside the core rule book. What about the Mersun LD1? That looks like a sniper rifle. It looks cool. Yeah, you can have that. Um, you can have anything in that, uh, in that list. Um, so the way range increment works is, uh, that's its range. But it, uh, but every time you go outside the range increment, it's a negative two on the dice. So it's not actually its range so much as you can usually shoot up to four or even five times that range increment. Oh, but, I'm really over that. Uh, don't, don't worry about that. Anyway, um, I'm enjoying the. Uh, I'm really enjoying how the uh, the little Gemma came together. Is it a G A or G B? It's so cute with giant chin. Yeah, so Gemma is, uh, you know, currently uh, after, you know, because you, neither of your parents are around, right? Because your mother left one day and you're hyped. You're, mm. Sorry, what was your backstory again? Yes, so one day my mother decided to leave me with my uncle, the the, the hyperspace beacon finder and smuggler. He left it with me there for the afternoon and just never came back. Oh. I was, and I was young. I was a child. And so, therefore, I was raised by a child with naturally blue hair. TM. (laughs) (laughs) Science. That's science. That's science. That's chemistry, (laughs) man. A force user did it. Something about the chemicals in the air just changed the color. No, no, it's it's deliberate. It's deliberate. (laughs) I fell out of acid head first when I was five, Mm. and suddenly my hair changed colors. (laughs) And that's how I became the Joker. (laughs) Yeah. No, oh, um, uh, Harley Quinn. Um, and yeah, ever since then, you know, I've been going around with my uncle, who probably wasn't the best role model in the world or parent, but you know, I was, I survived, I was fed, I was loved, and then one day we we're on Nasha, Nashda, Nasha, Nashada. We were resupplying, by which I went, I went to get supplies, but I got distracted by some gambling. And when I came back, uh, the ship was gone and my uncle was gone. And there was like, I'm going to say there was a note or a sigil or something there saying, hello, we're organized crime. We have taken these things. Uh, and your uncle, yeah. <laughs> so well, I'm assuming it's a bone shark or something involved. I don't, I don't actually know. And he might be dead. He might be alive. But I was stuck here. Nashada is, uh, as well as anything, a sucky place, but it's pollu- it's, it's this giant city all the way down. So the sky, it's skyscraper, the, the surface has been lost to pollution, and it's permanently night. Mm. There is no day. There is no warm. 
I'm sorry, uh, uh, for at least a lot of the planet, it's permanently night. Especially where we specifically, uh, where I will be jabbing, it's permanent night. <laughs> Explains my amount of socks. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. There's no natural uh, heat. The only natural, the only heat is like exhaust coming off factories. <laughs> like it's it's not a great place. <laughs> awesome. hey. Yeah. Hey, she might have a gonk. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I was wondering, Laura and Judith, if there's yeah. any like, because I didn't do like any like extra face details really, except for like under eyes, but like other like. Scars, freckles, tattoos, those sorts of deals. Yeah. Uh, Fresh faced seventeen year old who lived who's lived in space up until now. So you know, my complexion's great. Yeah. Hey. Lack of <laughs> solar light room. Great complexion. Is that yeah. can I have a Mersan snap that on? Absolutely you can. That's, That's actually cool. Um, a collapsical baton that expands from a 12 centimeter cylinder to a full meter long club. Bludgeoning, yes. Bludgeoning club it, weapon. It, it won't be immune to lightsabers, but it will be very, very good at whipping it out, like uh, be, it being concealed and you just beating the crap out of someone. <laughs> I imagine knock, knocking him unconscious a lot. Yeah. Because um, the other thing I wanted to be is how evil are you going to be? I, I'm okay with not at all. Hey, 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 do we need to turn off our sound? Um, <laughs> Sorry. Did you hear this? <laughs> How evil am I? Yeah, is my, your my, character going to... Because, like, I want to... Uh, subsystems are offline right now. Okay, perfect. All right, well, that, that's that's all the warning I need. Because, like, in general, the party's going to be kind of good guys. You know, they're, they're, you know, they would have been good people if the situation weren't so crap. That's what they're maybe expiring to be. And I'm just kind of a little bit worried that Joe will just try to kill people. And I don't think that'll happen. But are you I, I just don't know what are you one two's deal is. He he's looking for Pablo's star. Yeah. And that's wants, his deal. And wants to kill him. I think once he kills him or has done his job, I think that's pretty much makes him a good guy. That's okay. Well because uh, Pablo Star is a really I, I can bad see, guy. I mean pub I mean Mama Star and his cousins and brothers and all the stars, and his mum, you know. I mean, Pablo's a person too, so mm. if I kill Pablo, him, he, I'm going to destroy their family. Mm. So I could be evil. Yeah, look. <laughs> uh, J, uh, J Raptor says, you're not running another party of fully chaotic neutral evil. Really, Freddy? <laughs> See, this um, yeah. Neutral evil? What part of any party is neutral evil. They're just all evil. Okay, so neutral evil refers to whether or not they're chaotic or lawful. It really is like, do I think I am good? Yeah. yeah. Well, there, well, there's, not, there's have no... Have I one. reached sentience? Yes. Yeah. The moment you got one level in Soldier, you've been sentient for a while. Your masters may or may know, not know that's a thing yet, though. And well, they... then I, I think I'm good. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, you still have to do what roughly what you're told, but beyond that, uh, especially once you run out of orders, you are your own droid. I haven't come across that yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, as uh, Judith is a Jedi, there is some understanding that you won't be completely evil all the time. And if no. you are, you're the only character that will actually get punished for doing so. <laughs> yes. Because uh, mo- the, the alignment system is basically light side, dark side. And no matter how evil or good you are, unless you're force sensitive, it doesn't tend to affect you that much. Because you know, like you know, the, the you know, it's not like the um, the uh, officers of the empire randomly started like growing horns and stuff from blowing up Alderaan. But uh, you know, the emperor looks like a looks like crap. Have I killed anyone before? Um, that's up to you. I would probably say yes. Okay, but well, no, if, I, if may- I've done the job before, then I would say that um, that I I, I uh, anomalies were detected. Yeah, because because. Yeah. Uh, you would have, you almost definitely would have killed someone, but probably not outside of combat. So when I saw their their dead body with their blood spilling out, and I think of their family, I would consider that maybe a small anomaly. Yeah, yeah. That could have been the exact moment you like. You know, you didn't realize it, but that was the exact moment you're like alive. Maybe. Yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes, it sometimes it's a traumatic experience that creates makes a droid come to life, and sometimes yeah. it's just. 
man, I've been on this asteroid for 200 years, I'm so bored! And then you realise, hang on a second, bored isn't an emotion dro droids have. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then there's love. Well, I was a, uh, I was an army bot type thing, wasn't I? I was yeah, a military yeah. bot. So yeah. I don't think I've ever been bored. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it, it can it can be anything. It can be any sort of emotion. It can be you know Brina's uh, matchmaker droid turn love. By the way, we need to draw Brina's droid. I'll need everyone's yeah. input. We know nothing <laughs> about it, uh, and Brina's just going to turn up and like, what do you mean I have character design? And we're like, yes, good. Look, there's mm. like two different thought patterns that are happening in my brain for Brina's character. The yeah. first one is like a very humanoid sort of like um I imagine like a magician's assistant or like um those ladies they have on game shows that like spin the wheel and they don't really talk but they're there. <laughs> um and my other one is um that one from Undertale. The one that's like a just like a giant TV. TV? You know what I'm talking about. It's been a long time since I've thought about Undertale. Um, so she's meant to be a matchmaker. I, all I can think of is, you know, a Jewish, literally matchmaker. I think she may be a um, a hairdresser that is constantly, uh, you know, invoking, you know, uh, the lady's um, ego, telling them yeah. how pretty they are. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I'm also thinking that Brina's character also does a lot of JoJo poses. <laughs> she hasn't seen Jojo's. She doesn't know what I that's I know, him. neither have I. <laughs> but I'm just imagining just like, Ugh, love. <laughs> and it's just like, and you will fall in love. I don't know what oh, Jojo poses are. No, come on. This is a hairdresser in drag. <laughs> <laughs> Metaton. Uh, uh, C3PO uh, Jaraptor says the C3PO with a massive pair of tits bolted on. Oh, so we're and about. and some paint for like you know eyeliner and stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's exactly the one I was thinking of. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Jojo's poses specifically are uh, one particular Japanese author's uh, goal to try to prove that effeminate poses can be masculine, and he was inspired by his concept of masculinity by Prince. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's like you know it's like you know it's like you can be really effeminate. But you can still be extremely masculine, and that's the that that's his entire goal. So he has like super buff characters doing things like this. Yeah. How about Lady Beard? <laughs> when um, I think of Prince, I definitely or... think of manliness. Well, that's the point. No one does except this <laughs> one guy. <laughs> Prince so. is definitely a Freddie Mercury, also yeah. very manly, Ex but... also extremely inspired by Freddie Mercury. Sorry, go on. <laughs> Um, I think I fixed my level one character. Feel free Bye, to. Bye, Jay Raptor. Bye, Jay Raptor. Bye, Dad. You're not actually my dad, but he's, <laughs> he's a dad. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so I'm thinking uh, maybe some cheetah sort of dot or something Ooh, like that. Cheetah dot. No. Let's oh, make it up. Wrong, wrong <laughs> line <laughs> My goodness. I reckon she'd have very good bio scanners. <laughs> Not feel my. All right. She could um, detect pheromones and things like that to tell if people were compatible. Yeah. Yes. So, Laura, as a fringer, the amount of points you get are. Because uh, it's yeah. different for every class. Um, points for what? Uh, well, your skill points. Like, uh, let me like speckles. I have decided that it was um, for level one, six plus my int mod times four plus four for being human. Yes. And then uh, uh, double that. Uh, you effectively get to double that because you're level five. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I get 58. Yes. There. Yes. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, whatever. Yeah. 58, and then the maximum you can spend in any one skill is 8. And then you get another bonus, uh, you get another bonus uh, amount of skills uh, to spend on other things as well, because you're uh, as a fringer, 
the skills are your wheelhouse. You got a lot of them. Um, I like. Sorry. Yes, uh, you also need to. Um, you also need to pick a couple of. I would recommend picking a couple of crafts. Oh, and uh, as well as knowledges. Oh, you already have. Easy. I read some rules. Not no, many you, of them. You, no, you're you're way ahead, so far ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> I I did like I even wrote things down and stuff. Yep. You also get to increase one ability modifier by one ability score by one. Uh, because you got past level four. Cool. If you pick intelligence, you'll get even more skill points. I'm very tempted, actually. Because <laughs> intelligence is usually the main skill of uh, fringes, as far as I remember. Let me have a look. Uh... Uh, wisdom. Oh, never mind. Yeah, no, intelligence is usually not, but it is useful. Oh, yeah. So perfect. So now that you've uh, put another point into intelligence, you get uh, another eight skill points to spend. <laughs> Sixty-six. Yeah. Total. Okay. Good. And then you get another uh, eight on top of that to spend on for free on any craft, knowledge, or profession. But that can only or, or language, but that can only be spent on one of those. And I am I getting an animal companion? You can get that. <laughs> you can get an animal. I'm just drawing you <laughs> times two. Oh, okay. This is the <laughs> less lazy yeah. face. <laughs> yeah, it's still a little lazy because like it's not in proportion with anything. But uh, you know, it's so. I, mean, I thought you were going to get a man bun. Bye, J Raptor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to say bye. I appreciate you. And he's gone. <laughs> I can't believe we had someone watching us. I'm so, I'm so happy. Yeah. Well, we, we've got six. One minute. One minute. There's one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, five. According to this, we've got six, or is that because Laney's coming up twice? <laughs> um, I don't know why I would be coming up twice. Right, so we have six people. Yeah, watching at the moment. I mean, we're just watching <laughs> us. Uh... Hey, so it's the night. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is complete mayhem. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> This is such an angrier character with very fair faucet hair. In a good way. Mm. Just so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of getting a flamethrower. That's also yeah, really good. Nice. So, uh, as a droid specifically, um, there's an entire section based on droid equipment that you can build into you, including inbuilt mm -hmm. weapons, ca uh, weapons caches, shield yes. generators, and flamethrowers. Where's that? Uh, that in the revised handbook. Uh, that is on uh, chapter. Revised core rulebook. Revised core rulebook, chapter fifteen, droids, and then you have uh, mm -hmm. droid accessories. Mm -hmm. So it's page three six oh, yeah. seven of the revised core rulebook. Okay. And you're limited the amount of modifications you can have by your strength stat. Which so is. You uh, I believe it's quite high. I believe it's 15. Although it may be one of the sk your stats that was boosted. No. So, uh, we actually had Wait. someone playing a gonk droid. Uh, because <laughs> so theoretically... I can have yep. 15, mm -hmm. uh, 15 things? Is no. that how worth? No? How many points per... Oh, is it a point process you have a certain amount of kilos of stuff you can carry so let me i need to quickly look that up i believe that's in the equipment right, section okay. uh well, 15 kilograms uh it's more than that it's a lot more than that oh. uh sorry i just need to find it because it's, it's it's in a dumb place because this is based on 3.5 and although i love their systems their books are quite arbitrarily laid out i think it's in the adventuring section actually uh uh, oh, I can have a flamethrower in built. That's that's what I was saying. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> Me and Nike. That is my earring. Sad days. Uh, heroic characteristics. Oh, I didn't have telescopic vision. Yes, you can. Uh, Kim played a droid character with so many droid modifications. She had uh, extra pairs of arms that could split apart, like General Grievous style. Uh, Alright. Uh, sorry. This is when I give up on braids towards the end. Because <laughs> I, I didn't really try in the beginning, and then I definitely didn't try further down. That's fine. Where do I add it to? Just gear? Yes. It's just added to gear. Uh, so you have 10,000 mm -hmm. credits to spend on these. Uh, and I'm just I'm still trying to look up carry capacity because it's oh, in a random place. Yeah, shape. yeah let's go. <laughs> Uh, carrying oh, capacity, once you set So when yeah. it says, um... <clears throat> uh, alright. You can have up to 33, three, uh, 33 kilos of modifications if you don't want to have your movement uh, affected at all. 66.5 if you want to be slowed down. Or 100 kilos worth if you want to ba barely be able to move. So I would say just, you have a, 30, a limit of 33 kilos worth of modifications. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's, your strength is 15. Okay, but the goal and I have to and I have to spend the ten thousand bucks on it as well, right? Uh, you can spend the ten thousand bucks on anything. You just have a total of like ten thousand bucks to spend on everything, and also including um, the droid accessories. Is that what you're yeah, trying yeah, to say? Yes, but you can also yeah, spend. Right. You know the ten thousand we can spend on backgrounds and stuff. You can also spend that on droid accessories. So twenty thousand in total, just to spend on everything. Okay. Sorry if that was uh. Yeah, oh, that's cool. All the Twenty k. What are they called? Credits, right? Yeah, credits. Is it, like, you, do you hold it with two hands or one hand? Yeah, two hands. It's two hands. Because it's a big stick. Yeah. yeah. It's a staff. You can, you can hold it one hand as well. It's just um, slightly more awkward. Because <laughs> the, the, the advantage of the double-sided lightsaber is you can activate one side or both. So you can almost use it like a pike, just using one hand, <laughs> uh, both hands. At both hands with one blade, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the modified gonk droid had a strength of 18, so he had 150 kilograms of droid modifications. This gonk droid could do everything except charge your phone. Every <laughs> and considering they're literally mobile batteries, yeah. <laughs> this gonk droid could do everything except the exact thing gonk droids were designed for. Um, it also, he also had a rocket launcher that came out the top, so if he wanted to aim it forward, the gonk droid had to fall on its face, and then the missile would come out of the top. <laughs> he also had an EMP cannon, which shut down himself and whatever he hit for 1d4 rounds. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was, a uh, I, I love, I love gonk. Gonk could speak droid, but only said the words gonk. So, you know, you, 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 the party would just hear, gonk. Gonk, but if anyone actually spoke droids, they could tell the gonk droid was saying gonk in gonk. Because he was trying to, like, not let anyone know that he was alive. Right. <laughs> uh, so everyone was like, so occasionally people were like, why is that gonk droid saying gonk over and over? I am Groot. <laughs> exactly. Yes? Question about professions. Are they useful? Uh, they're usually not super useful. They're more for flavor. Okay. Um, um, but the, the, like, the, not to say that they're unuseful. Um, it's just usually uh, NPCs have a lot of professions. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for more stuff to spend uh, points on, it might be a place you want to. Well, I've only got two left and um, in my craft knowledge or professions thing, but I could just learn something else. Yep. Um, What's a good thing? Uh, you can also pick any language and learn it for two, uh, two points. Oh, sweet. How many languages do I get? Uh, as a Fringer, you get uh, Basic, Droid, and that's it by default. Oh, that's right. I will learn Hutties because we're in a hut place, yeah. aren't we? That's very useful, yeah. 
So the way the points technically work is it's one to read and it's it's one point to be able to understand, one point to be able to talk, and a third point to be able to read and write. So you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to talk hutties, but you won't be able to read and write it. So, but no one uses read and write hutties anyway, so. Uh, it's not like it's not like the signs of the planet are written in hutties. It's just you know if you like everyone's like oh my goodness, <clears throat> uh, Laura quickly we need to write a letter in hutties. <laughs> You're like no, uh, no, it's a data card. Just make a video exactly. <laughs> or or <laughs> you could just one. ask uh, you could ask Joe to get a translator unit for like a thousand credits that knows every language conceivable ever. Uh, yeah. they, uh, ex no, except Bachi. Yeah. yeah, don't speak Bachi. Yeah. <laughs> or ancient Sith. <laughs> oh, nobody oh no, that. that's an easy language to learn. That's just kill, kill, kill. Yeah. kill. Exterminate, yeah. Exterminate. I'm trying this, like, action shot. Um, think, uh, that think, Lane's uh, drawing. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, you know, I'm Which kind of... This um, Which Who's the lion? Is that you, Judith? Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to figure out how hands work, and uh, I can't be bothered, so that one's going to be a circle. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm like, over, over under, under, over. I'm going to get improved sensor package. Under, under. That's a good, that's a good so package here. The yeah. leading hand would be under the... Backhand would be well, over. one is one is over, one is under, and I already did the one that's over, so now this one's under because <laughs> just process of elimination. Have the lightsaber coming out the other way, depending on which way it may make sense. Plus two on... Okay, so I get a plus two on but on perception stuff. Yep. And you can uh, you can go scroll straight to your skills and put that into uh, bonus points. Oh. Telescopic? Yep. Absolutely. Um, the Gonk Droid had a straight up shield generator. You know the Droidicas in the prequels? Uh, the, like, yeah. Yeah, the Gonk Droid straight up had one of those. Uh, I don't think I'll be in the heat of battle. Well, I'll be more of a um, yeah. sniper yeah. type fighter, I think. Hey, it's always good to have a god out there. Mm -hmm. And if I come across, you know, and I need AoE, I just. Uh, activate flamethrowers, I think. Exactly. Um, you can also... Because uh, I'm using a, uh, a Mersian Model G8. I think that's that's a blaster rifle. Yep. And is that like a... Is that... can How much distance can I get on that? Uh, what was it? It says like? range 40 meters. So, that... uh, so that's the range increment is 40 meters. So if you want to aim... Uh, so 40 meters is 20 squares. But and uh, if for every twenty squares away you aim, it's uh, mm -hmm. beyond the first one. It's negative two. So say if you want to hit something okay, yeah. hundred, uh, like two hundred meters away, it's just negative <laughs> ten to your roll. Uh, so right. the better you are, the, the the more distance you can get. Okay. There's also weapon mods you can do as well to extend range or extend, uh, make them easier to hide or make the gun fold up or make it slightly more accurate and do slightly less damage. Uh, all sorts of things. Um, so there's also another mechanic in this game called aiming, where you line up your gun and you spend Imagine a turn aiming. All yeah, <laughs> exactly. You spend you spend one turn lining up a shot, so the second turn you get a massive bonus to the shot. So you get less shots overall, but far more accuracy. Whoa! I get a telescopic appendage. Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, uh, above the belt or below the knees. My only rules. <laughs> can I have okay. it where I want to have it? Doesn't seem practical. You can have it where you want to have it. I don't mind where you. I'll, keep I'll have it on another character then. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, that'd be like his, um, how in R two you get. The see, I know what you're thinking. And... <laughs> My thinking yeah. is like unicorn horn. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, the, tele it's, the, it's the telescopic appendage is the little arm that comes out when R two D two needs to push a button. Um, I, mean, I think I'll be okay. Um, also, uh, do keep in mind, guys, that if any of you want a droid, you can also just have droids. Yeah. 
that is an option. You know, they, they may not come with you, they may stay on the ship, but, you know, say you want a droid for repairing your equipment, or you want a droid for, like, translating. Uh, these are things you can, you know, the other 10,000 credits that also be spent on backgrounds, the, that's the sort of thing you can buy a droid. But I want yeah, you... I might buy a droid. I might, yeah. one, I'm, I might buy a little one of those uh, remote control ones. Perfect. Like a mouse droid? <laughs> Now, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, beep, 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 beep. Actually, there's I totally, sorry. It's like the equivalent of a Tamagotchi. Like I got it when you know my uncle first took me in, like <laughs> to some yeah, toy. <laughs> um, okay, so what you need is what Leia, the child Leia, has. But you have to watch. Um, yeah, when it flaps around and stuff. No, <laughs> I refuse. I'm going to be completely ignorant of this and make no. terrible. Mistakes. Sounds good. So, uh, the girl who got to play um, Leia is really good. Spoilers. I haven't, I haven't seen Kenobi yet, and I want to, and I will. So, I'm going to be quiet now. Then, uh, <laughs> no. I can, I can close my ears. Whisper. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what's a repulsor lift unit? Ah, uh, that is if you want to be a flying droid. Replace your legs with a uh, like a jet engine, so you float around forever. What about just a jetpack? Has it got one here? No. Uh, there isn't one, but you can, because you're a humanoid droid, you can also use human equipment, including jetpacks. Right, okay. I'll, I'll check the equipment later. Right. Yeah. Uh, there, there isn't actually a jetpack in the rule system, there, but there is, a, there is actually, there's straight up a bit where it's like, okay, this is Boba Fett's backpack. This is how you work one out with your players. There's no there's no default backpack you can buy, but as part of the background, that's one of the things that you you and your GM design. Um, so yeah, so I'm happy to give you a backpack for let's say like six thousand credits, and it'll allow you to fly around. Um, but it won't be quiet. <laughs> or you can make it a more expensive one to be quiet or whatever. So you can like use your jetpack to get up and you know set up sniper shots. Up to you. Okay. We, 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 we just need to work that out. You, you you need to pitch me an idea, and I tell you how many credits it costs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and once again, you all of you can do that for custom equipment. I had a guy who was a cyborg. Uh, his actually entire deal was uh, he was a force sensitive and a force adept who didn't know he was force sensitive. So whenever the force would talk to him, he thought it was his droid, like his uh, droid parts being updated <laughs> from the like from the cloud he was like um uh, would you like to use force push uh yes totally i don't know what that is let's go <laughs> it was super annoying as well because he made me do uh he made me autopilot all his force abilities so he just sat back as i played his character for him every game <laughs> oh <laughs> the james four yeah i'm here to play Everyone else, not you guys. Lainey, she's so cute. She is I so cute. Her. I love her. <laughs> um, I think I've done my skills. Do I need to add anything else? Another feat? Another something? Um, the only other thing is uh, I give give everyone an amount of bonus Kotal feats. Right, but we'll, we'll, I can't we'll... see my um my cartoon that. Lainey Drew. Yeah, our uh, little faces haven't come up on the uh, screen. Oh, yeah, I, I, I was setting that up and I got distracted. Right. I'll go oh, back. Right. No, it's cool. Yeah. I, I thought it's it was the done. Power of ADHD, on the wrong... my friends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought it was on the wrong level or something. No, no it's. Uh... Uh, once again, Judith's is done. Mm. <laughs> uh, Tim is done. I'm. What? Mine is there. Kim is there. Uh, Brina's is there. I just haven't done. Sent it. them to you. I know I did. And yeah, if, uh, they're right. not from Laney iPad. They are from. They are from Laney iPad. That's uh, so. Okay, good. Let me just because uh, I, I need to modify Ooh. them because they're three thousand by three thousand pixels each, and they'll ruin mm -hmm. my computer's RAM if uh, I just weapon mount. Yes, uh, that is straight up of any weapon you can think of, just attached anywhere you want it. I'm getting that. <laughs> If you want a back, like if you 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 want like a rail gun that like folds up out of your back and comes around the side and then just shoots people, that's it. 
Um, some droids, however, don't have hands, so they're completely reliant on weapons mounts. Oh, so a weapon mount is like a hidden weapon inside me. Uh, no, that, uh, it can be combined with the weapons, uh, the, the uh, item cache. Or a weapons mount. A weapon in there. A weapons mount is literally an external, like, like a solid arm that holds a weapon. And cool. you can make it fold up and go inside you. Uh, oh, so I could use it for shooting another weapon? Yeah, you could have three weapons at once, yeah. Okay. Um, once again, some droids don't have hands, so they're entirely reliant on weapons mounts. Right. Um, uh, where's... Oh, set it up. Can you polish on? I was about to say... Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, put, I put black nail polish on at some point. And three fingers. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, one's hiding. Mm -hmm. yeah. My hide skill is quite high now. <laughs> yeah, the other yeah. one, the other one's like here, <laughs> so you can't really see it. <laughs> and if I put it like over here, then that just kind of like looks weird. Uh, right. <laughs> and I come put it like you know nowhere else, nowhere I put it, make, cause it looks <laughs> make it make it make sense. <laughs> you and what you're doing. He's he's adorable. Oh, I love him. Yeah. All right. If you check the stream, there is currently a jar. Yay! <laughs> I need to resize it because it's the jar the size oh. of freaking Godzilla. <laughs> jar. No, I got a bump in my head. Jar. There you go. <laughs> jar. He's coming to meet us. I've got. Oh, uh, Oh, there's Joe. <laughs> yes, it will randomly it'll randomly alternate, and uh, yeah. there's a that's special so Joe only one. That's the Devil Horns. Yay! Uh oh, <laughs> someone hit me on the head. Lainey likes to hit me on the head. I noticed. Mm. Oh, look, I'm pretty there. <laughs> Big eyes. The eyes do it all the time. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> do <doing. laughs> That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 200. Telescopic mission. Where's that? Okay. I don't know what legs are right now. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's go smaller. <laughs> this is... This this is what I do when I don't know how to do a pose. This is the head. Okay. Yep, and now I'm going to try to figure out the purse. What's the vibe? What vibe am I going for? Crouching. Sneaky. I was about to say crouched over and you're trying to uh, pick a lock I'm... or something. <laughs> That's, weird. That's Sorry, weird pricing. A weapon mount costs more than... Sorry, a com link costs more than a weapon now. Yes. The priority in this time period. <laughs> We've got a little Judith. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. This totally makes sense. You sure I can have that much money? Because I've only spent 1400 Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, I started to max because I didn't know what else to buy. And I can have anything on the list, you sure, Freddy? Yep. Uh, once again, you are limited to 33 kilos of equipment. Oh, yeah, I haven't added that up yet. Yeah. So you will be more limited there than anything else. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, you could. But you can. Your yeah, no, that, that works too. Um, the, another, I've done a lot of these Star Wars games now, and there was the uh, the droid that decided to clone himself, and uh, he ends up becoming a main villain of the <clears throat> campaign. Uh, he's currently somewhere terrifying in this universe. Uh, but he's uh, he's he's made an army of clones of himself, and he's made the main version of himself covered in gold and platinum, because he can make himself shaped like anything. So what is more perfect than himself? Right. He's gone full Ultron narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Wait a minute, this is a droid. Yeah, this is a droid called uh, Medic, spelled M three H equal sign capital D. Right. So it spells me dick. Uh, I give bonus points to anyone who creates a clever uh, droid uh, hyphenation. I didn't even need to tell Joe about it. 
He was already well, so far ahead of me. <laughs> you think he's just, you're on the same wavelength. That's, exactly. You know, mm. Works so well. <laughs> um, so, so I think. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I think I'm mostly done. I don't think I'm fully leveled up to five, but I can probably play. No, I yeah. think I probably need vitality and I probably need a feat or something, but you know. Yep. Uh, there's a couple of bonus codal feats, which I'll quickly go over you guys, but they're, they're complicated. They're me bringing feats from an alternate rule system to make it feel more like the video game I like. <laughs> so they, 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 I'll, I'll need to do them, uh, quickly before we play. Um, but they're very optional. Um, what else? Uh, true. All right. So let's go to Laura's character. Yeah, we just need to work out your vitality and wounds. Your wounds are 12, because it's just equal to your constitution score. And your vitality is your level plus your constitution modifier, end brackets, times something. Let me just quickly work out your... Oh, no, actually, you have to roll it. Uh, so let me bring up this thing. Um, uh... One sec. You can just tell. So your starting HP at level one is I sorry. Really, I can't really think of anything else. Ignore me for a little while. One D a one D eight. Okay, so starting HP at level that. one. Yeah, so yeah. Starting vitality is nine. And then you roll 1d8 plus 1 uh, seven times. And that's your maximum <laughs> HP. 1d8 plus 9. 1d8 uh, plus 1 uh, times your uh, times 7. No, no, 4. 4. 4. four. What am I thinking of? Sorry. 1d8. Uh, one, one, sorry. Can roll I me 4d8 Plus four. Plus four. You're going to go, Bobby. Bobby, you have to go with me. I didn't know why that was asteroid. All right. 23. So your... That's livable. <laughs> yep, so your total HP is 34. Uh, your vitality is 34. Uh, you I, also, the same. <laughs> I also let people re-roll one of those dice every five levels, so I'll get you to re-roll the one. And if it's higher, increases your maximum HP. So roll be 1d8. Uh, it's not higher! You rolled a 1 into a 1. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it was meant to be. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, the base for saving throws is not 10. It is different per level. So I'm just going to go through and do a bunch of boring stat stuff. And if I start saying words under my breath, everyone tell me to shut up and talk about art. Yeah, Freddy, shut up and talk about art. What's art. wrong with it's you? Cute. Art, 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 art. Mmm, <laughs> mm, art, delicious. Yum, <laughs> yum, in my tum tum. Ah, oh, she's adorable. I love her. <laughs> you just capture <laughs> this is your I love, talent. <laughs> I love the bottom right one, the books. Mm. The one where I um, tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one where the, I'm like, ah, uh, this is what the face looked like, instead yeah, of mean, the one where it's this is what the general design and colors are, and then there's a just a quick small drawing. No, it's so good. Yeah. I just Disney. like drawing poofy jackets. I think that's it. Yeah. I really feel like it goes with the sort of the fringer, you know, I'm on the fringes of society kind of, you know, smugglerish vibe. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what they have. No yeah. human shape. <laughs> human yeah, shape. Gotta get, gotta, get the, gotta get the human shape back. Um, so I could draw, I guess, Brina. I could draw <laughs> Joe's character. I've already drawn Joe's character. Draw Joe's <laughs> character again. Can you show me? I haven't seen it. It's in 
It's on the- it's in the Discord somewhere, if you scroll up a little bit? I don't know how far. I don't even know how to scroll up. It's okay, I can- Oh, uh, apparently it. it's not here. Yeah, I've only seen my own I think I- I think I maybe just sent it to Joe. That's okay. Next time. We'll, we'll make hit, hit, I'll just post it in Discord now, it's on my phone. Oh my goodness, uh, Jeraptor just sent me some messages. In the Kotor period, apparently um, there's uh, vibroblades uh, con uh, figured with a cortosis weave that makes them immune to lightsabers. Theoretically, almost any weapon can be made immune to lightsabers through this method. It's nothing to do with the vibrations. Sorry, not important. <laughs> so they just like the vibrations. Is what yeah, the mean. vibrations are a natural part of them that makes them deal more damage, but it's unrelated to um, their immunity to lightsabers. I posted my drawing of Jer. Okay. So are you so putting I... this in the text channel for Colt, or...? Yes, I put it in the text channel for Colt. Um, and I will I just these... quickly put it on stream as well. For a little oh. bit. Uh... Yeah. I can't even see the text channel for Colt. So, Brina... <laughs> Is a droid, right? Freddy. <laughs> yes, Brina is a droid. Uh, Brina is a droid. Um, that's uh, some sort of. Uh, I believe the the law is she's a matchmaking droid who's decided screw it. She wants love. Ah, oh, well, there we go. I'm yeah. gonna bring the droid to her. <laughs> uh, this droid, uh, Joe's droid, however, the, um, um, RU12 may not be interested in a fem droid. Lainey, <laughs> Lainey, what, what program do you use? I use Medibang. It is a free art program, and I have been using it for many years now. Medi. M E D I Bang. <laughs> um, yes, you can get it on all devices. I just got it because it's one of the few ones that I could get on my phone in 2016 that oh, had dang. layers. Oh. Right, cool. Well, it's on PC um, as well? Holy crap. It is. It's on PC. Um, it's on PC. It's on iOS. And I think it's maybe on Android. Oh, I don't know. Wow. I don't have an Android. But yeah, it's um, it's a, it's a nice little, little, little yeah, programmy. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I did a video a while on YouTube that explained how I use it specifically, but it's not very helpful if you're not me. But I did it anyway, in case okay. anyone wants to figure out how I do what I do. Okay. Which is a, a method. And that video is kind of old now, because I got that like when I first got my iPad, which was mm. just before 2020 chaos. <laughs> but um, Yeah, so it can work on... All platforms, it looks like. Yeah. I, all my art before 2020, all my digital art was done on my phone with mm -hmm. just my fingy. Me and my... Wow. Just yeah. shooting your fingy. Me and my fingy. Are you feeling very alone? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. uh, but I got a lot of, a lot of things done. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, one thing I learned is when you're on your phone, it's really easy to do pixel art. It. You just gotta tap the pixels. Um, it's not like hard to do pixel art with a stylus, but it's really easy to do pixel art on your phone with just your mm. finger. Um, but I don't know. Mm. I've kind of gotten used to the stylus now. I always Thanks, got buddy. really I'll annoyed because um, people were like, "You use your phone and you use a free site. Your art must be terrible." And no, I'm like, see, I, I and disagree. I'm like, like... rude. Mm. Yeah, I'm the, we're the same with music. We use um, Reaper for recording, and people, you know, in the industry are like, "Ugh, Reaper, oh, that's crap." It's like, it's like we, know, we don't care. It's good quality. It, it's like it is irrelevant. Like you could have the best of everything, but if you don't know how to use any of it, then it's not gonna go well. Yeah. So Wise like words. I've seen some of the most amazing pieces of art, which is just on like lined paper with like a ballpoint pen yeah <laughs> yeah wise words yeah. it's not about what you use it's about how you use it 
<laughs> yeah. uh, Freddie, yes, question you... with, um, using my force. Yeah. Using force, I use my vitality first to. Yeah, so what uh, you choose a force skill to roll, yep. and mm -hmm. then uh, it has uh, in uh, under the description of that force skill, it has how much vitality it'll cost to spend. Right. So, for example, enhance ability. Um, yep. uh, you roll, so you get a twenty. You'll increase your strength by four, and it'll cost you four vitality points. Right. Sometimes the better you roll, the more points it costs. Sometimes the better you roll, the less points it costs. And sometimes it's just a flat rate. So okay. some four skills, the better you are, the less effort it is. And some skills, the better you are, the crazier benefits you get, but it costs points. Yep. And how do I get my vitality points back? Um, you get a uh, you get your level per hour back. Right. Uh, just by resting, or even just yeah. chilling, as long as you're not yeah. in a high combat situation. Also, things med packs uh, bring it back as well. Stimulants can bring it back, and uh, uh, there's a there's a few other things as well. Uh, there's yeah. also the ability uh, a horse force heal self also um, spends vitality and then gives you back more than you spent. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah. So vital once again, vitality is the amount of HP you can lose without anything going wrong. It's like your character stamina. It's your natural ability to dodge uh, storm uh, stormtrooper bullets. Yep. But it runs out. I do like the uh, uh, thing that was posted on the, in the chat somewhere of uh, what happens if stormtroopers are given uh, eye, not upgrades, but uh, they their eyesight gets fixed. Mm -hmm. Everything gets over and done with so much quicker. Oh, my goodness. Ewoks stand no chance. <laughs> That's the one thing huh? they can actually show. <laughs> no That's okay. <laughs> I love, uh, there was a scene in Rebels where um, you have uh, uh, one of the clone troopers as an old man deciding, screw it, I hate the Empire, um, and joining the Rebellion. Uh, and he uh, goes undercover as a stormtrooper, and he goes, ah, oh, I can't see anything in this helmet, this is awful, and just rips it off and throws it on the ground, and instantly shoots like four people. <laughs> Uh, so lots of lots of um, lots of yeah. examples of people uh, going through and uh, fixing the, these uh, plot holes. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm watching Bad Batch at the moment, so. Oh yeah, I I, I really enjoyed Bad Batch actually. Mm -hmm. Although I, uh, it is the animated series about a uh, the Bad Batch of clones. Uh, set in between, uh, immediately after the events of episode three. So, so uh, it, after uh, Audius 66. Yeah. It, 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 uh, yeah. They're, they're a group of clones that who's, uh, who had <laughs> um, problems with them that normally would have been quite negative but ended up being positives. Like, there's one that's super bulky, there's one that's super good at, like, uh, aiming, there's one that's, uh, like, a really good, like, leader, and uh, for whatever reason, their uh, modif uh, mutations made them immune to the Order 66. So now they're, you know, travelling the galaxy, trying to survive in an Empire world where all of their friends are trying to kill them. What's 66? Uh, order 66 oh. was the order to kill all Jedi for the clone troopers. Oh, okay. Um, that's, that's why Anakin goes and kills all the younglings. Yeah. Uh, but but, but they, they, re they retcon it in the Clone Wars animated series that mm -hmm. the clones all have a, like a, uh, a biochip in their brains that turns off all their emotions and their, uh, inabil their ability to like um, resist orders. Yeah, they follow orders to the T. <laughs> yeah, so it effectively turns them into stormtroopers by getting rid of anything that made them unique. So they're Cybermen. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Um, but certain... <laughs> exactly, exactly. But certain <laughs> uh, certain tr uh, clone troopers are immune. And what's more, if you get... Um, if you find uh, a clone trooper who's uh, post-Order 66 and you go get in there and do some brain surgery and remove the chip, they'll turn back into what they were before. <laughs> so that's uh yeah so that's kind of um the uh the, the deal because uh, the clone wars tv series uh, animated tv series really characterizes a lot of clones uh it starts with yoda being like i can tell each of you are different 
<laughs> you, the one who really seems to like heavy weapons, you like heavy weapons. You're like, oh my god, you're right. I do like heavy weapons. The first episode is really like trying trying to watch a magician, you know, cold read a room. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's good because it really it really characterizes all the clones. It shows you know how very different they can become because of circumstance. And just you know, you know who trained them and all sorts of things. They even show a really old clone who's um, the aging process messed up on him, and he he like turned into a really old man. And they just they just keep him around as a janitor because uh, he can't go and fight. <laughs> uh, they are, they also the other thing they also go into is that you need a, t- a small piece of the DNA of the original to um, to make more clones. And the more and more clones they make throughout the uh, the war in the prequels, the worse the clones get, because they're stretching out that tiny piece of DNA further and further. Yeah. Uh, which is why they're actually after Boba Fett, as he is an unaltered clone, and they could use him mm-hmm. to clone more people. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, so it's cool. Uh, the, the Clone Wars animated TV series makes the prequels better in every way, with the power of uh, writing and hindsight. Do I have to watch that for homework? You don't. I'm not. But it's no. good. What is it? What is it? What do I have to watch for homework? Ah, uh, jeez. Is there anything set in this universe that's actually like clo- homework for this uh, thing? Uh, uh, well, you could play some of the old games. Yeah. The games set in the old Republic. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you mean that MMO? Uh, that MMO is set roughly 200 years after the game we're playing. <laughs> Uh, but it is the right sort of era. The MMO and... I don't want to play a game. I don't want to play a game. That's, I just want that's to watch fair. something. Yeah. Look, honestly, Kenobi is, weirdly enough, from what I've heard, some of the best preparation. Oh, okay. I've been watching Kenobi. <laughs> All right, sweet. Yeah. It's not supposed to be. It's not set anywhere near the same era. But because it, uh, because it's, uh, it's freedom of writing, it's weirdly accurate. Like, yeah. uh, I haven't seen it, but apparently there's a modified gonk droid, and I went, what do, what do you mean there's a modified gonk droid? I just... I just jammed one of those. Um, basically, instead of it being a power droid, it um, gives out credits. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. There was a... There was okay. a sorry. Uh, it's not going to happen because I don't want to get Disney Plus or Pirate, so... That's fair. Fun. Look, that's really, really fair. Uh, you don't need to Pirate if you get a VPN. Oh, that's still... Oh, but you, you still need to get Disney Plus. You just only need to legally have it at all. Um, well, then I've got Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, of course you do. Uh, yeah, I do. I, have that. I also have Disney Plus. I steal I like my Disney. I steal my friend Cody's. <laughs> Thanks, friend no, no, Cody. No. Your friend Cody oh allows you to use it. Yes, that's true. I don't. I don't steal it. Yeah, I have a. I have an account on his uh, thing. And my picture is Baby Yoda. I didn't use it for the first two years he gave it to me, and I decided one day screw it. What's on? Mm-hmm. Um, Everyone has it, but they they also share it with someone else. And it's like, but I don't want to share. It. I don't know these people you're sharing it with, so I can't ask them. Very mm. upset. Then I refuse to spend more money on yet another streaming service. It's it's true. It's getting ridiculous. Uh, okay, so I think I, I've I've so fixed up your characters. Uh, things like uh, saves and uh, L- Laura. I've, I've fixed up your character saves and base attack bonus, and I put in a bunch of zeros so it'll actually work now. Um, okay, because the way the character sheet is designed, you know how like before it had fortitude total as blank. Uh, I needed to put in misc modify zero and temp modify zero. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll go sort of go through and like shore up the character sheet in terms of that. So you have data pad, data card, com link, crafting tools, credit chip, liquid cable dispenser. Oh my god, that's so cool! Where's, where's that video that you made, Lenny? Hmm. You're not being very um, helpful. Uh, mm, I'll link like on, on YouTube? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, just DM me or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really know what I'm doing, so... It kind of looks Five Nights at Freddy-ish at the moment. Yeah, it it. kind of does have that vibe. Like, you know, because... But uh, that's also kind of, like, the vibe, I think. Yeah. there's a tutorial. Uh, 
Uh, it's kind of because because yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's is the the horror game where the the Chuck E. Cheese uh, animatronics come to life and start trying to kill the security guard. Uh, which then you know with this also a Nicolas Cage movie with much the same uh, concepts. Did you guys finish watching Stranger Things? Uh, no, we well, watched I've, one season. We have watched what season one? Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll, watch, we'll watch more on the weekend. Yeah. There's an ad for it. For the new season, done by Bondi Rescue. Yeah, <laughs> it's so oh, odd. Sure. I look at my Facebook for some reason. It's like I'm not in the right country, but okay. Bondi Rescue is there's a portal to another world now, and they're like, oh yeah, we're just you know being vigilant, beautiful people. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I can sort of go through. Uh, your character is pretty much ready to go. Um, is mine? Uh, let's have a look at Drew's character. I think there's some still some stuff I need to do. Yeah, I I need to put in your uh your base saving throws and your base uh base uh attack modifier. So I'll quickly go through and do that now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got a flamethrower, magnetic feet, video recorder, improved sensor package, telescopic vision, motion sensors, com link, weapon mount, tool mount, and a rust inhibitor. Perfect. Uh, so what the other things I will need to do for Joe and Laura, uh, I, I think jo Laura's already go good to go. She's picked some feats. Um, okay. but I believe that everyone gets a feat at level one and level three. That's, so you, you choose a feat from the, the big list. Um, things like, uh, it's in the revised handbook, but there's also as many feats again in the hero guide and all sorts of stuff. So just tell me what sort of feat you want, and I can help you uh, ballpark that a bit better. For example, what Judith might want mm. is weapon... Mm. Uh, 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 what's that one where you use dexterity instead of strength? It's uh, weapon finesse. You will, you, yeah. you will, you'll want weapon finesse as one of your feats. Right, okay. Because that allows you to use your lightsaber... Yeah, use, use dex for yeah. your lightsaber. Right. Uh, I also need to figure out Joe's vitality and wounds. Uh, so your your wound points are seventeen. Your vitality dice is, I believe, D ten. Joe's gonna be very tanky. I want to be. I want to see if I can have a feat where I can maybe hack systems wirelessly. Yes. Uh, or somehow find out. You know, when I land on a planet, as much information as I can, like as in, uh, who's who are the members of the Bounty Hunters Guild at the moment? How do I get in there? Well, I just either touch a terminal or I wirelessly connect, or and, I, and and then I hack hack into systems to get information, whether it be Imperial or we can do that. Is that a thing? Yeah, is Imperials around? Uh, there's the Republic. Oh, the Republic, sorry. It's yeah. the it's the old Republic, so they're, they're actually still quite good guys at this point. There isn't, okay. uh, it, there isn't a Sith infiltrating them. Ah, right. And what about, is there Stormtroopers? No. Uh, no, there's just a, there's a, there's a small standing army of the Republic, but it's been recently de decimated in a recent war. So, so there's... No, no Stormtroopers. No Stormtroopers. Just uh, okay, lot, cool. a, lot of, a lot of untrained guards that are bumbling. That so can I have something like that as a feat? Yeah, uh, I'll quickly go find one. But for now, I'll quickly get. I'll quickly look up your vitality, your hit dice. Uh, yeah, I love it. Where? Lanny, some hot hmm? pink. I think they need some hot pink accents. Mm. Oh, definitely. This is gonna be the most gaudy thing you've ever seen in your life. There's Anything no love hearts on it. Wife. You're going to be sorely disappointed. Well, like, I don't care if Brina goes around and be like, mm, don't like it, do something else. I'm like, okay, anything for you, my wife. <laughs> and then just keep it the same. <laughs> All right. Level one, Joe has 13 HP, uh, 13 vitality. And Joe, you need to roll me 4d10 mm. plus four when you get a chance. Sure, I'll do it now. Uh, Roll well, 4d10, sorry, plus... A 4d10 plus 4. 4, sorry. Yep. 31. Easy. 
All right, and I'll get you to roll me 1d10 just by itself as well. Uh, and if it's higher than a 3, it'll increase your maximum HP. Awesome. Eight. So I need to add 35 onto 35 plus 13. Your, car your total vitality is 48. You are quite tanky. Theoretically, <laughs> oh, you did it. Oh, yep. you're doing it. Yep. Okay, yep. cool. Yep. Thank you. Uh, right. uh, then, is that tanky, is it? It's pretty tanky, yeah. Uh, nice. you're, you're the tankiest class, and you've rolled well. And you have high uh, constitution. Uh, actually, uh, you may ha have even more. Uh, it was plus four, right? No, that uh, no. It, it needs another eight as well. Sorry, I messed that up. So, uh, it's 56. 56 total vitality. Whoa, okay. That puts you above me. Yep. I'm totally hiding behind you. Uh, go, go, you do it, you do it. Yep. I have been completely hide. So no worries. Hide. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, what's more, this time period has she uh, personal energy shields as well. Ooh. Uh, uh, and, uh, which you can all use. Another reason, uh, once again, because there are so many Jedi around, there are so many freaking, um, uh, yeah. People. Yeah, uh, <laughs> personal energy shields protect you against blasters, but they also protect you against lightsabers. So it's really important to have them so you just don't die. A lot of this world is just a bunch of day doomsday preppers preparing for that one time they have to fight a Jedi and hoping they don't die. That's almost the entire universe at the moment. And what's worse, if you don't fight a Jedi, you might fight a Sith. Yes. At least the Jedi will try not to kill you. <laughs> Alright, you have a reputation bonus of 1, Joe. 10,000 starting credits. 0 force points. And 0 dark side points. Uh, and I'll give you... I'll quickly put in your saving throws. So base attack bonus is... For, oh, I'm sorry, I'm saying words under my breath. It's okay, I'm just saying words. It's entertaining, because... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's typically yellow and pink. So, and is that gold? It's gold-ish. It's I haven't shaded it at all. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> so you'll also spe you'll specifically be the best person in the party at attacking, especially with blasters, Joe. Um, like uh, oh, you'll, okay. you'll you'll if be that's more. Okay, should I take? Yeah. Should I take more guns then? Because I've only got a rifle. Should I take a pistol? You can take a pistol. Um, p pistols are nice in this universe because you can modify them more heavily than everything else. That's, uh, and I quote, why uh, uh, Han Solo has a, a sniper rifle scope on his blaster. Well, it was yeah, taken that is a rifle, bit weird. Yeah. He never uses it, but he thinks it looks cool. Right. All about style points. All right. Leave that attack bonus. Uh, let me see. Very good. All right, so you can actually roll the um the uh you can actually roll the um uh this little dice thing just here because uh, on the, your weapons you'll have little there's a little dice button which you can use to automatically roll everything once it's all set up on my on your character sheet. So when you go, you go to ranged weapon and under Mercy and model, there's a little D twenty button. Yeah, got it done. That was my range weapon? Yeah. And here's my Merson model. Yes, I forgot, I forgot what that is. Needs a oh, I forgot what that is. I didn't write any notes. Specialized military. Oh, that was the flamethrower. Yes. How can you forget your flamethrower? <laughs> um... Because the MK33 replicators are down. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Means that you hit something? Alright, so that's. Uh, yep, that's done. You've got all your skills done. At the moment, Joe just needs to pick feats. Uh, and uh, anything else, like if you want a vehicle or something. Vehicle? Uh, you well, what, <laughs> what, what, won't we be riding around in a spaceship? Uh, well. Uh, yes and no. So, I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a bit more into the character background. So, uh, I'll give you a little bit of Heartless Harry and what's going on in the mission plan. So, uh, as far as we know, 
uh, Hablo Star is held up in Club Jack Jack Tech, a strictly non-human club. Your mission is to get in there, take him out, uh, either by uh, killing him or trying to take him to the Republic for extra credits, and then get the heck off this planet. Now, I managed to secure a ship for you all. Uh, uh, the the uh, the Century Duck. It's an old, it's a, it's an older, it's an older smuggling style vessel. But more importantly, it'll go low, uh, it'll uh, go by unnoticed. So once you get Hublo Star, get him out of here and get into the ship and hyperspace off world. That's the. Is there other? They, that's, uh, that's the that's Harry, the mission. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yes, Harry. Is there any other information you can tell us about? Where Pablo Star is staying. I've got lots of information, but uh, as you know, I uh, work on tips. Uh, the hops pay me very pay little. That. I wouldn't pay okay, that guy anything. <laughs> you just sort of like mentions okay, over no to a tip job. Harry, lose the hat. Oh, how dare you! Tip one. Oh, oh very clever. Why you want to? All right. So there's a. Uh, as you know, Club Jack Jack is strictly non-human. It makes its business by uh, funneling in... I'll, I'll repeat this all when we start the uh, campaign, by the way. Uh, oh, oh, it funnels in uh, atmosphere from different people's home, uh, different people's home worlds, so different aliens and the like can uh, yeah, right. enjoy, enjoy. Very very difficult if you're a human. Very good if you're a droid. But there's a, there's a secret... There's a... There, there's a uh, rumor of a secret club within the club where all sorts of nefarious things happen. If I had to, if I was a betting man, I would say that that where that's where Hablo Star would be. Now I don't know much about Hablo Star. He always wore a Mandalorian helmet back when he was active as a bounty hunter, despite very clearly not being a Mandalorian. God, they hated him. So we have no idea what race, age, or even gender he is, other than a male voice box. Uh, in fact, I have this little tracker for you. He holds up a little button with a uh, little, like, uh, thing with a, a button that mm. beeps. This will beep faster and more frequently if he is close. That's all I have for you. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm. He also a has subspace a emitter. Very yes. good. He also has a bunch of other equipment that he'll give the party, including, but not limited to, a Bazaar deck. Uh, which mm -hmm. is the equivalent of um, uh, which is yeah, the, the boa? That's what this is missing. A boa, something big and fluffy around the neck to be less roboty to get caught in all the robot bits. Thank goodness, it gets and more terrified the more I look at it. And the trails and feathers, beautiful. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? That looks horrific. Yeah, it, how... it will haunt my nightmares. I've also, had nightmares how about that thing. Dare I'm going you. to. The best thing is, the head looks exactly like the default protocol droid of the era. Uh, um, totally intentional. Yeah, so it looks like the equivalent of C... She, she looks like the equivalent of C-3PO of the era. So it, it, I can just imagine she was originally... Like, you know, she's got that... She's just, you know, built herself what she wants. Um, yeah. Yeah. There was another character that I was going to ask, maybe that Lainey draws that might may or may not appear in the campaign. Uh, it is effectively a vending machine that had its brain transferred to a new body. It is a oh. it is a vending machine currently experienced sentience for the first time. Do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> like 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 snacky? Yeah, like like like. Hello, would you like a snack? <laughs> Maybe I was the snack the entire time. <laughs> All I can think of was Fry when he thought he was a robot and giving people sandwiches that were stored somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh my lord, does she wear furs? She it's wears a boa. It's a boa. <laughs> Why would she not be fluffy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I have some other NPCs that I was going to, like, give Lainey some descriptions, idea. but I can't get her to draw them on stream because I don't want to spoil anything. Except Vending Machine Dude. I absolutely don't care about spoiling Vending Machine Dude. <laughs> um, Alright, how about this? After the campaign is over, I'll come back on and I can draw some of your favourite moments. Perfect. That sounds really good. Um, actually, I'm going to probably have to finish up now. That's all yep, good. It's it is about time we finish. Yeah. 
Well, yep. thank you very much, Lainey. They look awesome, Lainey. Yeah, they look great. <laughs> oh, it's always good to be appreciated. Yeah, it's we 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 me and my me and my bunnies. Yeah, bunnies. Uh, <laughs> All right, bunnies. do we want to? Do we want to end here, or do we want to keep going for a little bit? Is there a my melody from? Um, um, I'll probably catch up with you a little bit later on, sort of thing. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll make. I'll go through and make sure all the characters are finished, and then I'll present whatever's not finished on the characters as easy multiple choice. <laughs> okay, that so, seems cool. All right, bye, bye Judith. <laughs> see you, Judith. Bye. All right, let's see how badly this messes up my stream. <laughs> I'm going to go too, but I'll wait till you fix it. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> maybe maybe we should just end the stream. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, got, I got something. Uh, if uh, you guys leave, I can do this, which makes the screen look terrible, but it'll make it look right once it's right. All right. Okay. I'll go too. All right. Bye, Laura. Bye, Judith. Next week. Yeah. Bye. I don't know what's going yeah. on. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. Judith's frozen. She's but she's not gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, you get them all individual, Freddy. I cut them out. <laughs> I did it the old horrible uh, way. Uh, uh, you cut him out. Is that what you do? Uh, yep. Uh, uh, Lady, it's perfect. See? <laughs> now go to the right a little bit. Oh, come on. You're actually patching them together? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's perfect! Uh, oh, it's awful. <laughs> Where am I? Lady split in two. Oh, you have split no. personality. Oh, this is a disaster. This is awful. This is terrible. We should have just left it, Freddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we should have just ended the we could, stream. We could just stop streaming. It. Yes! <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone for coming along. Help. <laughs> yeah, perfect. This is all I've ever wanted. Uh, I'm Joe, and I've been RU12. I've it, been... Me, Lainey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my goodness, this is so we'll much see. worse. It's, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> see you guys later. I've been Freddy. Yeah. Bye, everyone. You, you are always Freddy. I'm always Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> you Freddy, I'm